Is it a plane? Hi, Henry. You better be careful, Henry. Flying can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing. Hey! I'm a natural. Like a bird on the wing. A natural, huh? Uh-oh. Oh! Excuse me! Henry, are you okay? Henry? Henry? Ah, oh, glad you could drop by. Brock, speak for yourself. Who's that? Just one of many amazing tropical birds. Hmm. Well, I'm an amazing tropical lizard, so there. Well, Henry, you are pretty amazing, but... What have they got that I don't? Lots of things, Henry. Here's an especially beautiful tropical bird. A cockatoo. Cockatoo schmockatoo. I can be that beautiful. Tropical birds are well known for their beauty, and many of them... Ta-da! Henry! What a bozo, what a bozo, what a bozo. Beat it, bird. I'll take over from here. Hey! 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 Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest lizard of all? Oh! It may be dirt, but it looks better than broccoli. Henry, many animals have their own medicines, just like they have their own food. All this talk of food is making me hungry. What's he gnawing on? It's chalk, Henry. It also helps them digest. Hey, I'm walking here. Hmm, part of this nutritious breakfast. Henry, where are you going? I want to talk to you about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees. See, you've got the idea. First comes love, then comes marriage. Then comes, well, you know how it goes. A baby chicken. No, Henry. I know, I know. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes baby carriages and all that stuff. Oh, right. Romeo. La, 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 la. And now, Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best amazing tropical bird. And that's why the hornbill is my all-time best amazing tropical bird. Where are you going, Henry? I'm just dying for an inside peek at one of these bird hideouts. Holes and trees are good, safe places for eggs. Well, these three parrot eggs sure look safe and sound. Climb a little higher and see what else you can find. Excuse me. Mind if I take a peek inside? Holes are also a nice, safe place for babies. Cute. Well, actually, they're kind of weird looking. It'll be a while before they've got feathers. I don't have feathers either. I guess that's why I can't... Oh, why? Henry, it's time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? Now? We're waiting for your report about tropical bird eggs. You are prepared, aren't you? Do you really think anybody's going to believe that? Um... You're right about some things. Ostrich eggs are hard. Henry, is that you? I'm scoping out the competition. Huh? Oh, boy. What are you doing? I'm not going to be outdone by these birds. What have they got that I haven't got anyway? A minor. So he talks. I talk. And the Amazon is a pretty color. Notice any similarity to you-know-who? What about this toucan? Anything a toucan, I can too. Quack, quack. What now? 
duck calls. And to top things off, I can quack like a duck anytime I want. Uh, one, two, three. That's right. And I bet you'd never expect a lizard could fly. But I bet I can. Want to see me try? Henry, are you okay? Of course, who needs wings when you've got your own personal Henry Captor? Happy landing, Henry. Hmm, where is it? Hi, Henry. What are you doing? Something. Come on, Henry, what's up? I know it's in here somewhere. <laughs> I was wondering where that was. Henry, hello. Henry. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Uh -huh. Henry. Excuse me. You are Henry. Henry's not here. Henry. I'm sorry. You must be mistaken me for someone else. We know it's you, Henry. If you want some disguise tips, you should take a look at some of these experts. Huh? Many animals have found lots of different ways to not be seen when they don't want to be. Okay, okay. Staying hidden is what being a master of disguise is all about. Master of disguise? There's nothing here. Oops. I guess maybe there is. Okay. Who else is hiding around here? Wait a minute. I smell a rat. Or see a snake. Those disguises were great, only... Only what? I wish I could find a really good disguise. Hey! So, are you still trying to come up with a good disguise, Henry? That shirt doesn't exactly say subtle, does it? Now tell me what that ball has in common with all these things. The stripes? Yeah, stripes are a great way for animals to blend into their surroundings. You're right. Animals do have some pretty amazing disguises. Now you see them, now you don't. Or, now you don't see them, and now you do. Well, some hunters, like tigers, use stripes to hide from their prey. Henry, are you listening? What are you doing? Disguising myself, see? You look ridiculous. What? Very impressive, Henry. You certainly got yourself a new look there. Uh-oh, I think I may have overdone it. Well, you won't win any awards for originality. Henry, did you hear me? I said, don't try this at home. How you doing? Chameleons have the amazing ability to change colors to match their surroundings, or even their mood, when they are angry or in love. You'd have to be a lizard to love a face like that. But color changing is most useful for catching prey. This I gotta see. Ahoy there! Henry, turn that boat around. Well, hey! Not all the way. Uh-oh. I hope he doesn't sink. Henry, it's time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? We're waiting for your report on the decorator crab. Um, my report is on how the decorator crab got its name. Henry, do you really expect us to believe that? Uh, maybe. Well, that's nonsense, you silly lizard. Lots of animals suck in air to make themselves look a lot bigger than they really are. Uh, Henry, don't go too far. What do you mean? Too far! Ah! Ah! You bet. How do you play? Look at all these pictures. Some are of animal heads and some of tails. You have to guess which. This is too easy, Prof. That's a zebra head and... No, no. Those are just examples. I want you to start with this pine cone skink. 
Uh, head. Or, or, or is it the tail? No, it's the head. I, I think. No, it's the tail. I'm positive. How about something easier, Henry? Aha! Now that looks like an eye, so it must be a head. Hmm, acting, huh? I'm ready for my close-up now. Are you talking to me? I'd be nothing without my fans. <laughs> you like me. You really, really like me, don't you? Typical Henry, acting the fool as usual. Why don't you leave this acting business to the professionals, like the greatest actor of the reptile world, the hog-nosed snake? Hey, is it Christmas already? I haven't even decorated the tree. No, snowy conditions can show you what sort of disguises animals use in cold climates. Ah, I get it. The owl has a white coat to make it hard to see in the snow. Yes, but the snowy owl stays white all year round. I hope the variety of disguises we've seen has helped you to pick one, Henry. Like stripes or spots? Spots? Don't talk to me about spots. Anyone could spot me looking like this. Better leave it to those masters of animal disguise. Bye! Oh, hi, Henry. I thought you were sleeping. Uh, I'd like to, but I can't. Why? Uh, I'm just one wide-awake lizard. Cousin Rex and I have been surfing all day. I'm so tired, but I just can't get to sleep. Maybe I should try counting sheep. Try something more interesting. Try spring hairs. Spring hairs? I bet you haven't seen one of these before. One. That's because they sleep Two. during the day and only come Three. out at night. They're Four. nocturnal or nighttime Five. animals. Six. It's no good. I've tried hot milk. Counting spring hairs doesn't work. Maybe I'm turning into a knock on turtle animal. That's nocturnal, Henry. Yeah. <laughs> Time to see what being a nighttime animal is like, Henry. Okay. I love the nightlife. I got to boogie. No problem. Woohoo! Uh, I can't see a thing. Who's there? Could you see those owls in the dark? They sure could see you. <laughs> owls have great night vision. Mm, I've changed my mind. Turn on the lights. These are kinkajous. You haven't seen them before. Of course I haven't. I'm a daytime animal. Cut that out. I thought you loved the nightlife. Oh, I've changed my mind. Rats love their nightlife. Can we shed a little light on the subject? What is up with these moths? Why are they always bumping into light bulbs? Can't they see them? Bright lights dazzle and confuse most nighttime animals, especially moths. Henry, it's time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? No. We're waiting for your report on the wisdom of the owl. You are prepared, aren't you? Ahem, sure. You really think anybody's going to believe that? Yeah. Well, Henry, for once, you might be right. <laughs> Nocturnal animals use the cover of darkness to forage for food. Eating all night long? I could get into that. I'm gonna forage in the fridge. Hey! It's a raccoon. Eating garbage? Not exactly a gourmet, is he? Raccoons will eat almost anything, often raiding garbage cans for midnight snacks. You're lucky to have a fridge. Most animals have to find food wherever they can. These rats and mice are looking for leftovers, but the cat's looking for them. Mm, I'll just have a nocturnal pizza to go. And now it's time for the amazing Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best nighttime animal. Of course, nighttime is also made for love. Stars and constellations have always been linked to romance, but I've never heard them being romantically linked to a lizard. If you don't mind me saying so, this is what I call a match made in heaven. Yeah, whatever. This is a heavenly body if I've ever seen one. I know nighttime is for lovers, Henry, but just calm uh, down. Where'd she go? Why are we looking at the moon anyway? 
The moon is another heavenly body that really does have a strong effect on animals. Excuse me, that sounds like total lunacy. The lunar cycle or the monthly changes you can see in the moon. Henry! <coughs> huh? What are you doing? I wasn't sleeping. It's my new back therapy. I think you're finally getting tired, Henry. Admit it. Mm. You've seen enough daytime and nighttime animals to make any lizard tired. Here comes the day shift, ready for breakfast. Breakfast? Excuse me, but I don't think I'm cut out to be a nighttime animal if it means missing breakfast. Sleep well, Henry, but you'd better wake up before sundown or you'll be spending another sleepless night with those amazing nighttime animals. Ah! Hi, Henry. You look like you're getting ready to do some serious cooking. Bonjour. Welcome to Henri's place. Have you booked a table? Because we're pretty full. You are? You are? Wow, Henry. I mean, Henri. How are you going to feed all these customers? They'll all want different menus. Some of them even eat each other. Is that your waiter? Ah! It's a zoo in there! You wouldn't happen to know what they all eat. Well, Henry, animal appetites are no easy matter. Nuts! They are no problem for Chef Henri. I learned this technique at Cordon Bleu. You did? <laughs> Third time's a charm. I think your dinner guest has lost his patience. If at first you don't succeed... Give up! They're impossible! Nobody can open something like that. Wrong. You just need the right tools for the job. Let's see. I wonder if he's a herbivore. Maybe some... Ta-da! Grass! Hmm, maybe he's an insectivore. Ta-da! Oh, maybe not. There must be something he likes. Ta-da! The tiger's a carnivore, Henry. He likes me. Hmm, smells good. Hmm, smells really good. Lots of animals are meat eaters. They eat other animals. I don't think they wanted their sausages to go. Henry, Henry, taking meat away from carnivores isn't a great idea. Henry, it's time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? Now? We're waiting for your report about the eating habits of snakes. You are prepared, aren't you? Excuse me. Henry, you're exhausting. You really think anybody's going to believe mm. that? Mm. Yeah! Well, Henry, the egg-eating snake does like eggs. Henry, that looks appetizing. Who's it for? Enough of this eggs and meat stuff. I'm cooking vegetarian. Hungry herbivores! You'll need more food than that. Keep it coming, Henry. Cows have four stomachs, so there's lots of space to fill. Unlike meat, plants don't have a lot of protein in them. So herbivores have to eat more, chew better, and take longer to digest their food than meat eaters. And now, Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best amazing animal appetite. Hey, Chef Henri, how's the menu coming along? C'est magnifique! There's something to suit everyone's taste. What? Looks like the goat loves the whole menu, Henry. Huh? As you know, goats will eat almost anything, okay. even your cooking. <laughs> Maybe he'd like it with ketchup next time. What? Well, Henry, many other animals do have very particular appetites. Oh! Now the staff won't even help with the cleanup. And I'm getting really bad dishpan hands. Henry, you must be exhausted. You haven't had time for a meal yourself. So here's a special surprise. Chocolate bugs. My favorite. 
Remember, animal appetites can be unique and amazing. Even yours, Henry. May we? I'm going to go see if there's any more of those chocolate-covered critters. Bon appétit and au revoir, Henri. Hi, Henry. What's wrong? You look a little nervous. Oh, nothing. I I'm just fine. I I'm just hanging out, you know, enjoying the view. You wouldn't be up there because of that shark, would you? Oh, no. Uh, I, I just like it up here. It it's such a nice view. All right, all right, I'm hiding. I'm up here trying to survive, all right? It's okay, Henry. He hasn't seen you. But your survival technique leaves a little to be desired. Is he gone yet? Lots of animals need to learn to survive and stay alive in a harsh and dangerous world. Tell me about it. Hey, are we going surfing? No, we're going surviving. Just remember that animals like the Arctic fox and snowy owl have to be specially equipped to survive. Yeah, well, I bet I could do that. Ooh. I think it might be a lot harder than you realize. Mm, it is a little cold, and my toes are all tingly. Lizard feet aren't the best equipment for these cold conditions. I don't th care. I know I can do it. I'm sure I can. Animals have to survive in hot weather, too, like the meerkats and this mere lizard. Excuse me, I'm an exceptional lizard. And you're not the only one. These animals have exceptional techniques to survive in places where there's too much sun and too little water. Hot feet? Excuse me, I'm walking here. But this sand's hot. Africa hot. And it's even hotter when you have to slither. Hey, Henry, do you know where you're going? Of course I do. I'm letting these tracks lead me home. You're sure that's going to work? Of course, why not? Uh, to me, it looks like you're going in circles. Oh, dear. I'm lost. Well, maybe he can help you. He ain't nothing but a hound dog. Oh, 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 I'm so confused. Many animals survive by creating confusion. And now, Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best amazing animal survivor. Second place silver medal goes to me, Henry the Lizard, and his old hot shoe shovel. Henry. Okay, okay. So here's the real thing. Can you tell the difference? Yes. Do you know what kind of strategies squirrels and some other animals have in order to eat during those long winter months when food is scarce? Uh... Why don't they just go down to the market and pick up some groceries? You know they can't do that. Squirrels have to gather their food, then store it for eating later. I do the same thing. And if I could just find a can opener, I could eat some of these fine, hey, lizard delicacies I've been saving. Let's see. I'll have some fly a l'orange. Maybe, oh! Can it, Henry. Mesquite mosquito and a bit of beetle beesk. Mmm, my mouth is watering already. Whoa! Henry, it's time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? No. We're waiting for your report on why animals hibernate. Actually, Henry, some animals hibernate or sleep deeply through the winter. Some animals are well adapted to living in the wild, while others have become more used to the city. Hmm, I wonder which one's best for me. I wonder, Henry. No competition. They don't have aerobic classes in the wild. At least you've got a choice, Henry. You've got it easy. But life in the wild is especially difficult if you're an endangered species like this wolf. Well, Henry, maybe now you can appreciate the amazing survival skills animals have. I sure do. And I guess that, uh, compared to them, I really do have it pretty easy. You think so? Warm baths. Good friends. And food in the refrigerator. Mm, I could go for a pizza right now, couldn't you? Oh, Henry. 
Bring me back a slice, okay? Ah, safe and sound. That's what you think. Yikes! Bye-bye, Henry. Senses are the way animals get information about the world around them. It's how they know where they are and where they're going. Henry, open your eyes. Henry, you've got to use your senses. Excuse me. I sure felt that. Knock any sense into you, Henry? And speaking of senses, what's that smell? No. Oh, the nose knows. Was it bad? I'll never sniff again. Come on, Henry. We need all our senses to get information about the world around us. Really? Whoa. So what are the senses? Well, there's taste. Hmm? I'm sure you know the others, Henry. Think hard. Um, hearing? That's two. Uh-huh. Try another. Hmm. I'm beginning to smell something, right? Three down, two to go. Whoa. Touch. Touch. Oh, and sight. That's five. Yes, Henry, you've made it. Hey, who turned out the light? Oh, I hope there's a good reason for this blindfold. We're going to test your sense of smell, Henry. Ah, that smells good. I like that. Just like a summer meadow. What do you think of this one? Oh, reminds me of my cousin Rex's socks. Unreal. Okay, try over here. My sense of smell is really good. I bet I always get it right. Hmm, not much aroma here. Excuse me. Wait a minute. That's disgusting. All right, Henry. Time for your eye test. What for? There's nothing wrong with my eyesight. Come on. Whoops. Sight is the most important sense for many animals. Now, which is clearer, this or this? Oh, too close, too close. What about this? <coughs> How many birds do you see, Henry? Uh, two? No, one. Mm, enough! Calm down, Henry. Give your eyes a rest. Oh, I bet buzzards snack on lizards. You might be right. Aha! I wouldn't touch that if I were you, Henry. Ah, but touch is a sense, too. How else will I know what's in here? You could ask. Hey, this is soft and cuddly. It's a rabbit. You were lucky this time. Another! You want to risk it all on what's in box Ooh. number two? It's something hairy and small and... Spidery. It's a tarantula. You know I'm scared of spiders. <laughs> I'll just see what's... Oh, my hand! <laughs> you sure got the point that time. The porcupine point. Henry, time for your special report. Henry, it's time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? Now? We're waiting for your report on the electric eel. You are prepared, aren't you? Oh, sure. Do you really think anybody's going to believe that? Yeah! Well, I don't. The real fact is... I'm so thirsty I could drain a fishbowl. But I'd rather have something really sweet and tasty. I wouldn't suck too hard, Henry. <laughs> That wasn't very sweet, was it? No, it's sour. Okay, try this. Mmm, much better. That tasted really sweet. Your tongue senses what is sweet and what is sour. Get out of here. Really? Really. And it looks like this skink wants to use its tongue to taste you. Okay. And now, Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best animal sense. Henry! Henry! Can you hear me? Hearing is another sense, you know. And you don't want to lose it, do you? I was just getting into that. It's a band called Heavy Metal Lizard. You ever heard of them? No, but listen up. Hearing is one of our five main senses. Hey, wait up. Where are her ears? Snakes don't have ears, Henry. 
but they can feel sound as vibrations. Huh? Now those are what I call ears. Whoa! Elephant ears aren't just for hearing, though. The senses! Taste. Hearing. Sight. Eat it, bird. Smell. Touch. I've got them all! Ah! All except a sense of balance. Very funny. You're lucky I have a sense of humor. Never mind, Henry. At least you know about animal senses and how they can be used in some amazing ways. Bang, oh, bang. hi, Henry. <laughs> Looks like you're ready for battle. Bang, bang, bang! Can't you see? I'm under attack here. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, Henry. Looks like some serious weapons there. All right, then. Let's show them what we're made of. Are those your quack troops, Henry? Company, halt! Fighting is no game, Henry. And weapons are a very serious business. Watch out! Are you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, there's not much. I don't know about weapons already. Oh, how's this work? I wouldn't throw that boomerang. Why not? Because they always don't. come back. Maybe there's some things I don't know about weapons. You can learn a lot about Watch weapons from your it. animal friends. My friends? Yes, Henry. Animals have a huge range of weapons for attack. Are you off to battle? You better believe it. I'm Sir Henry the Brave, and I'm getting ready to get medieval. Well, Henry, if you're going to lead your troops into battle, you should know more about the amazing animal weapons you may have to face. Look out! Hey! You better take cover, Henry. Missed! Missed again! <laughs> Having effective defenses can make the difference between life and death. For instance, this porcupine's defensive quills are sharp enough to pierce tin plates. <laughs> What's the matter, Henry? Plunger got your tongue? <laughs> but defense is no laughing matter for most animals. Henry, are you still in fighting mode? Careful, Henry. He looks tough. Hey! Huh? What's happened to my quack troop? He's bluffing, Henry. You try to scare him. Pretend you're big and strong. <laughs> well done, Henry. Your bluff worked. I did it! He backed off. What a chicken lizard. Bluffing is a weapon that many animals use. Henry, it's time for your special report. Henry, it's time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? Now? We're ready for your report on the Tasmanian Devil. You really think anybody's going to believe that? Yeah. Time for the truth. Of all the weapons, I think horns rule. For many animals, just having weapons isn't enough. The bigger, the better, and the more they frighten the enemy. So you might not have to fight at all. I sure wouldn't fight this chameleon, Chameleon, Henry. Maybe I need bigger horns. Certain animals can take this to extremes. Trouble is, I can't lift my head. You've just discovered the big problem with big weapons. And now, Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best amazing animal weapon! Henry, want to hear a secret? Sure. 
this jungle nymph has a secret weapon. On the back of its legs are some sharp spines that can cause an unsuspecting predator serious damage. Wow! Guess what? I've got a secret weapon, too! Presenting the ultimate fighting machine! Watch! Are you sure that thing's safe? Sure! What could possibly go wrong? Yikes! Now you think fighting is dumb? Uh-huh. So the duck detachment can return to base. Uh, sure, that's right. No more fighting for me. I'm gonna be nice and get along with everyone. Get back to base! Um, anyway, n now what was I saying? That weapons have a uh -huh. place in the animal world. Uh-huh. But they're not a game. Right! I'm gonna contemplate peace while I take a nice warm bath. Good idea, Henry. And leave all the weapons to those amazing animals. Amazing animal builders. Hi, Henry. Planning something? Sure am. And it'll be fantabulous. Okay, guys, start them up. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Keep those tractors rolling. Don't just stand there. Get those feathers moving. We're burning daylight. Henry, you're not the only animal that knows how to build. There are many amazing animal builders. You could learn a lot from them. No time. Out of my way. Henry, these animals are all expert builders. Why not ask them for a little advice? Yeah, right. Henry, what these animals can build will really amaze you. Listen, I'd love to chat with your friends, but... But? But I've got work to do. Dig them up! Back them up! Okay, Mac! Let's get digging! Lots of animals dig into the ground to make their homes, like this hog-nosed snake. Hey, Henry, I'm trying to explain about burrowing animals here. Henry, are you listening to me? Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Who wants to know? Hey, this could be my new home. You better check it out first. It might be occupied. Ah, looks like someone did get here first. Sorry to drop in without an invitation, but I was in the neighborhood. Hey, nice burrow you got here. Lots of cross traffic, though. Animals use a variety of materials to construct their homes. Bricks and cement, that's what I always use. That's what everybody should build with. <laughs> For human houses, bricks are great. But animals use whatever they can get for building materials. Is that so? This I gotta see. What kind of house is this? The roof's full of holes and the location's all wrong. And it's made of paper. Paper? You're kidding. Doesn't look like paper to me. It's made from wood pulp, the raw material that makes paper. The wasp's tiny mouths chew the wood and mix it with their saliva. Saliva? You mean... All this building is tiring me out. Time for a break. And now, Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best amazing animal builder! Back to work already, Henry? Huh? Watch where you're going! <laughs> Henry, it's time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? Now? We're waiting for your report on the Bowerbird. You really think anybody's going to believe that? Yeah! Well, you were right about one thing. Careful you don't fall, Henry. I know just what I'm doing. Okay, take it up. Most structures Come are on. built around a strong framework. Huh? Skyscrapers are held up by steel girders. Oh. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Henry? No problem. I know my way around. You sure? Of course. I always know where it's at. Things aren't always what huh? they seem. Uh, this isn't a skyscraper. It's a spider's web. Nests. 
can't be hard to build. I'm sure a lizard could do it. Careful, Henry. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Nests are another form of animal home, Henry. And there's far more to building them than you think. It's not so hard. Birds build nests by weaving twigs and grass together. Ugh, it's kind of messy, though, isn't it? And it looks like it's only made of sticks and feathers. So how strong could it be? Much stronger than you'd expect. And it's light, which is very important if it's perched on a branch. <laughs> that wasn't so easy. Okay, let's get out of here. You've seen some pretty amazing animal builders, Henry. I sure have. I've even picked up a few tips. Ah, uh, so much to build, so little time. Animals are amazing builders. And it looks like you've built something yourself. But that home looks a bit small for you. Excuse me. It's a home for Boris, my pet spider. Not bad for a beginner, Henry. But you'd better leave the real work to those amazing animal builders. Oh, hi, Henry. Do you know what armor is? Like a helmet? But who needs that? Ah! Ouch! Make that a hard head. Even a hard head like you sometimes needs extra protection. That's what armor is. You call me a hard head? What do you call this guy? An armadillo with a built-in helmet. Just one type of armor. So this crab shell is another type of armor. Exactly. And what about the rhino? He has horns. <laughs> that you'd better stay clear of. Excuse me. He's got to catch me first. Careful. He'll hear you. Let him hear. Henry, look out. Ah, sorry. I hope you learned something. Like, never underestimate the power of a heavily armored animal. Excuse me while I collapse in a small reptilian heap in the corner. Oh. Ah, under the sea. Peace and quiet, coral and contemplation. Armor is important, though, even here, under the waves. It's okay, Henry. The turtles say turtles can live to be a hundred years old, and their armor is one big reason why. Armor is used to protect people, too. Look. All very military, don't you think? Talking of military, time to shake a leg and move those feet, Private Henry. By the left, two, three, four, up, two, three. Prepared for them now. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Come on, Rhino, make my day. I'd quit while I was behind if I were you. Okay. Ahem. And now my Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best armored animal. Watch it. Hey. Yikes. It's raining quills. Don't forget, scales and spines are also armored to some creatures. I get the point. Or rather, I'm trying hard not to. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. Don't I know you? It's my cousin Rex. How come you never call? It's been months. So, Henry, this spiny-tailed lizard is a relative of yours? Yeah, but he's giving me the silent treatment these days. We had a disagreement. He bears grudges. <laughs> Well, I hope that chicken doesn't bear grudges. Wow, don't look at me. I hate omelets. Pay attention, Henry. Not just a fashion statement, but a way for humans to protect their heads. Armor. Henry the helicopter pilot. Henry the soldier. Henry out for a day on the river. Henryus Maximus, the imperial lizard. Or Sven Hendrickson, the Viking warrior, a bold, brave adventurer. Yes, this is really me. Tough, manly, yet deeply confused. In some animals, the right helmet is the difference between life and death. Excuse me, what happens when you outgrow your home? Well, you know, that does happen. For instance, 
You see, nature has created some amazing ways for animals to exchange their armored outfits for a larger size. Henry, it's time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You're ready, aren't you? Wow? We're waiting for your report on the hermit crab. You are prepared, aren't you? My report is on, um, how the hermit crab got its name. Because now you know. Henry, that was ridiculous. Your explanation wasn't even close. Think you can do better? So armor is good, but it also has its problems. I think I'm just starting to understand why. Take these snails. They're armored. But inside, they're all soft and squishy. Good thing he's got a shell. Henry, careful! Ow! Won't you ever learn? Didn't hurt one little bit. Armored animals may be slow sometimes, but they're tough. Ah, here's a little one, a baby hippo. I'll show him a thing or two. Hiya! Yeah! Come on! Know who the roughest and toughest animal around here is? Uh, you are, Mr. Rhino. Bye! Well, at least he's learned something. Bye, Henry. Hi, Henry. I said welcome to the world of mini beasts. What are mini beasts? They're animals, like bugs and creepy crawlies. We may not always see them, but mini beasts are everywhere. Mm, everywhere? Are you sure? I can't see anything. Look closely. You will. Oh, that's weird. Weird with a capital W. It's not weird. It's just a close-up. Not weird. <laughs> right. Come on, Henry. They're not weird, just different. They look scary to me. It's okay. You've just uh -oh. got to get used to them. Relax. Yikes! There's no need to worry. I think we're being invaded by aliens! Monsters from another world! They're... Beetles, Henry. That's all they are. <laughs> hey, I bet you didn't know that beetles were part of a family of insects that account for a third of all living species mm -hmm. on this planet. Excuse me, that's amazing! And how many are from other planets? Don't worry. Don't worry, he says. Wow, I wouldn't want to meet him on a dark night. It's only a longhorn beetle. Hmm. What's up, Henry? Many beasts, many beasts. I've had enough of all this. I'm going home. Put my feet up, maybe watch a little TV. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere safe! They're everywhere! Henry, wake up! We're in the middle of something here. Mm, I was just having a nice nap. Growing lizards need lots of sleep. Yeah, right, Henry. Hmm, hey! What happened to that spider, anyway? He's gone, but here's one of his relatives. Hmm. Nice work, Henry. It looks just like you. Thanks. Gardens are a great place to see mini beasts, Henry. But gardeners aren't always happy to see them. My head! Oh, no. Where am I going? Looks like you've got a problem with pests, Henry. Pests like this pesky locust. These creatures really are eating machines. Okay, I'm waiting. Pod people! What happened to the caterpillars? They've been taken away. Those were caterpillars. They've become cocoons. Raccoons? Hey, they're moving. They're alive. They're going to explode into a... Butterfly. And it's cocoons, not raccoons. Henry, it's time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You're ready, aren't you? Wow. Henry, we're ready for your report on bees. Mm. Oh. Oh, boy. Just in case you're interested, 
Bees don't actually hum, but it sounds like they do because their wings vibrate 180 times a second. Some mini beasts make a big effort to look after their babies. Babies. Sweet things. Not everybody thinks that invertebrate babies are cute. Go chico chico. But even so, babies are a big responsibility. Henry! Hey! Excuse me! Coming through! Ah, that's better. Excuse me. Can I have a little privacy here? Oops, uh, sorry, Henry. Ah, no peeking! Mini beasts keep themselves clean, too. They can't afford to be dirty, because even a tiny speck of dirt can be a matter of life or death to something so tiny. They take a lot of trouble to keep clean. So do I! Hmm. Now, Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards for the all-time best mini beasts! Mini beasts face other perils besides other mini beasts. Oh, yeah? Hmm. You mean like this? Hey! Yeah, like that. This couldn't hurt anybody. Excuse me! Ouch! <laughs> okay, uh, this plant couldn't hurt a fly. As a matter of fact, it could. Maybe I should try a nice fresh one. Excuse me, here's lunch. Bon appetit, Henry. Wait a minute! He's keeled over. I'm not eating that. Hey! What's up? He pretended to be dead to fool you. He won. You lost. He cheated. It lives on blood it sucks from other animals. Even birds get them. Lizards don't get them, do they? Hmm? I don't think so. How does it get around? It is little, but it can jump the equivalent of 30 times the human long jump record. Excuse me, that's amazing. Amazing and true. Ouch, I really do itch. Hey, where's he going? It's a flea circus. Now I've heard everything. You mean to say real fleas work here? <laughs> What do you think? I think you're pulling my flea-infested leg. Watch closely. How can you have a circus when all the performers are too tiny to be seen? Well, watch really, really closely. <laughs> Next thing you'll be telling me is that the toy cannon over there is loaded. No, it, it, it isn't loaded, is it? my big mouth. Oh, boy. It's a real creepy crawly convention down there. Hey, guys. How's it going? It's been real nice getting to know you. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around. And I'll be seeing you around, too. Bye, Henry. And watch where you're stepping. Remember, many beasts may be little, but they've still got their own special place in this amazing animal world. Taking a trip down memory lane, Henry? Did you ever see such a cute little baby? Oh, boy, was I cute or what? Very nice, Henry. I was more than nice. I was beautiful. Henry, what's with the baby <sighs> carriage? Oh, that? Just something my cousin dropped off. Don't tell me you're babysitting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, big deal. Hey, what's going on, Henry? Huh? Wow, I think you got more than you bargained for. Could somebody help me out here, please? Looks like you could use some help, Henry. Yeah. Do you know anything about babies? Well, I mean, I was one once. Hmm. But bringing up babies is no simple matter. There's a lot you could learn by watching amazing animal babies and their parents. 
Henry, I think you need to pay closer attention to the baby. Baby, this baby's that. He'll be fine. I don't know about that. <coughs> Henry, I think he's hungry. Him and me both. Just look at my lunch. Now, what do you think the baby might like? Good thinking. Now, do something about it. Oh, all right. Hey! Kids, what are you gonna do? I think you can relax for a while, Henry. Babies normally nap after a meal. Hey, Henry, where are you going? He's fine. He'll still be right there when I get back. Hey! Oh, no. Henry, babies need a lot more attention than that. Henry, it's time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? Now? We're waiting for your report on seahorses. You are prepared, aren't you? You really think anybody's going to believe that? Mm -hmm. Yeah! Well, good try, Henry. But you may be surprised to learn that the facts of life are even stranger than your fiction. <coughs> hey! Careful, Henry. Mother ducks are really protective. Whoa, maybe I'm not doing such a great job of looking after the kid. I better make it up to him. Come on, Squirt. I think he's forgiven you, Henry. Hop on. Good idea. After all, he's only a little guy. We're off. What a great idea. But nobody ever thought of this before. Actually, Henry, you're not the first one. A fish in the mouth is worth two in the bush or something. And now, Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best amazing animal baby! Looks like you've got things under control here, Henry. Mm, this babysitting thing's a breeze. I got it down to a science. Uh, Henry... See, I'm a natural when it comes to this baby business. But, uh... Oh, no! <laughs> ah! I'm just that good. Yeah, right. Henry, what's all ah! this? Well, since I now know everything there is to know about babies, I've started my own daycare center. I have a knack of keeping kids in line. That's some knack you've got there, Henry. Can you say ow? Ow! Now that's what I call some amazing animal babies. Bye, Henry. Hi, Henry. Look who's here. Hey, these guys here for lunch? I'm a hungry lizard, and I'm gonna drain this cauldron. Be careful, Henry. It could be poisonous. Never eat anything if you don't know what it is. To a tree frog, a woodlouse might look delicious, but just watch. Yeah. Fortunately for the tree frog, the poison in the woodlouse only tastes bad. But that's not all poisons do. You see, Henry, animals use poisons in lots of different ways. Some to defend themselves, others to attack. Ah, 
What are you doing? Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. I am Newt and Tear of Frog. It's okay to have fun, Henry, but never play with real poisons. If you ever see that yellow poison sign, be careful. I know. You're talking to a pretty smart lizard. Excuse me, whenever I think of poison, I think of snakes. And whenever I think of snakes, I think of snake charmers. Do I look charming? Yikes! I think you look like a great charmer, Henry. What a pretty frog. Can pretty things be poisonous, too? Yes. Really? What's so deadly about him? Whoa! We're under attack! No, we're not, Henry. But that was a poison dart frog. A frog throws poison darts? Is that an Olympic sport? No. Indians in the Amazon use poison from the skin of these frogs on their hunting darts and arrows. So much to remember. Toads and frogs, wasps and snakes, warning colors and red for danger. That's a warning light, Henry. Oh. Better play it safe. Wow. Good thing you stopped. I think you've learned a thing or two about warning colors. Bright colors, take care. There's another golden black. It could attack. Good little rhyme. You're right. Using. What do you think? Can you tell the difference? They look exactly the same to me. How would you like to bet your life on which is which? No way. <laughs> exactly. This is like a bad dream. Poisonous? Not poisonous? I can't be sure. This copying is called mimicry, Henry. Mimicry? Well, I can't tell the difference. Neither can predators, so they leave them alone. That's what the mimic is counting on. Amazing! But do I need to clear my head? I'm glad it's time for the Golden Gecko Award for the all-time best poisonous animal! Hey, Henry, what's that? What's what? That thing on your head. Don't go too close. That's a spitting cobra. It sprays its poison. I know that. I'm a clever lizard. I've come totally prepared. With what? Yeah. Yes, it's my cobra umbrella. It's all the fashion this season, if you don't want an eye full of venom. Haven't you finished spraying yet? I'm taking no chances. I learned fast. I bet that puma wished he'd had a gas mask, Henry. You know something? Even in this, it still smells as if he's right nearby. Uh-oh, he is. Run! <laughs> no, I'm on your side. Help! Henry, it's time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? Now? We're waiting for your report on the rattlesnake. You are prepared, aren't you? Well, Henry, the fact is no one knows for certain why a rattlesnake has a rattle on the end of its tail. Probably it's to distract the attention of his prey to one end of him. An amphitheater! I can live in water or air. That's amphibian, Henry. And I know what that is. It's a fruit-flavored jellyfish. Real jellyfish aren't so nice to bump into, Henry. In fact, some of the most poisonous creatures around are under the sea. Careful where you step, Henry. There's a sting in the end of this tail. I think I'm starting to get the picture. And what a picture. I feel claustrophobic, surrounded by all these stings. Let's look at these scorpions. Now do you think you know something about poisonous animals? You mean, apart from staying away from them? Yes, I've learned there are lots of different types of poison which some creatures use for hunting and to defend themselves. But if we leave them in peace, they'll normally stay out of our way and leave us in peace too. Well done, Henry. I couldn't have said it better myself. Hi, Henry. Doing a little globe trotting? Uh-huh. Well, you're not alone. All over the globe, animals have to keep on the move, both day and night. This globe trotting is hard work. I need a cool drink and a rest. Sun, sea, sand, and low-flying parrots. Hey, 
Animals don't go on journeys to get away from it all. They go for important reasons, to find food and water, or to have babies. Henry, are you okay? I think so. Good. Uh, oh, oh. Henry, be careful. Careful? I want to live a little. Travel the seven seas, a lizard in every port. You know, lizards just want to have fun. Well, not everyone leads the life of lizardly leisure you do. Many animals have no choice but to travel. Excuse me. He's going nowhere fast. She, Henry. This is a female green turtle. It's so hard to decide what to take. Huh? I wonder what animals take on their journeys. They don't have luggage. It would slow them down. Yeah, but I've got to be prepared for everything. Who knows what I'm going to meet on my travels? That's true. You just may meet your perfect dream gull. Very funny. I'm off to an island of dreams where I'll drink cool coconut milkshakes all day and not have a care in the world. Earth to Henry, get real. Not all journeys are safe. In fact, some places have dangerous predators, while others have... Oh, killer rabbits! Are you sure? <laughs> hey, Henry, do you know where you're going? Wherever I want! But do you know where you are? I'm not at liberty to say. In fact, uh, I'm not sure. Hmm, um... To tell you the truth, uh, I, I think, um, um well, uh, uh, I'm lost. I have no idea where I am. But my instincts tell me it's time for lunch. When in doubt, eat. It's bad enough being lost. At least I don't have to be hungry and lost. What's he want? You, Henry. Exit stage left. <clears throat> Henry, time for your special report. Henry, time for your report. Come here. You are ready, aren't you? Now? All right, Henry. We're waiting for your report on mudskippers? Mm, yeah, I'm going to talk about mudskippers and why they skip. Do you really think anybody's going to believe that? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Now here's the true story. Look out, Henry. That caiman's still hunting for something. Wow! That looks like an easy way to get around. Hmm, I wonder. Some animals make really long journeys called migrations. Would you like to try, Henry? Yeah! Migrating animals travel long distances. You might want to reconsider. No problem! That may work for a high-flying lizard, but most animals don't have it that easy. I'm beginning to see that journeys for lots of animals can be really difficult. Right, Henry. Not everything always works out easily. Well, everything seems to be working out just fine for me. You never know when things could go wrong. Huh? Hey! What do you think you're doing? beginning to get the picture. Now I know there's more to journeys than getting away from it all. And now, it's time for the amazing Golden Gecko Award for all-time best animal traveler! Well, at the end of the day, I guess I've learned that animal journeys aren't just about a change of scenery. That's right, Henry. Boy, it's more difficult than I ever knew. Looking for food, looking for water, having babies. It all involves journeys. A whole animal world on the move. Day and night. All over the globe. But you're a very lucky lizard. However much you wander, you know that there's no place like home. <sighs> I'm glad I've only got a short journey to my bed. Sleep well, Henry. Hey, Henry. Feeding the birds, huh? I sure am. Nuts. Seeds, you know. And cake, by the looks of it. Shh! My mom sent it. Can't stand it myself, but the birds love it. Hey! Where are you going? Something scared them. 
and I can see what... Ah! What was that? And what are those? They're just birds. Just birds? They've got huge claws and great big pointy beaks. They're birds of prey. What's a bird of prey? It's a bird that hunts other animals. Okay. I'm out of here. Henry? Henry, come back. Having a picnic, Henry? No, I'm repainting the Sistine Chapel. Of course I'm having a picnic. It looks like you have some more guests. What? It's an air raid. What are they trying to do? Scare me to death? Anything's possible, but I think they really want some food. Oh, yeah? Like what? They're vultures, Henry. Vultures, eh? So it's uh, meat, huh? How about a nice steak sandwich? Do you think they'll go for it? I should think so. They eat anything from antelope to zebra. Of course, that includes things like lizards, too. Anything, really. <laughs> Just so long as it's dead meat. Henry! Henry, where are you? Are you in there? Sorry, there's nobody here but us live vegetables. Don't worry, Henry. They don't all eat lizards. That's a relief. I was beginning to take it personally. Henry, it's time for your report. Hey, Henry, it's time for your special report. Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. Oh, what was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about what secretary birds do. <coughs> oh, right. Here goes. But what do they actually do? I'm getting to that. Sheesh. Another Z, I'm afraid, Henry. Didn't I even get one bit right? Apart from how it got its name, no. Rats! The secretary bird does get its name. Whoa! That is a long way down. What are you doing up there, Henry? I made a pair of wings. I can see that. Wait, you're not going to do what I think you're going to do, are you? Sure. I'm going to soar like an eagle, fly like a falcon, and plummet like a brick. You can't fly. Oh, no. Just watch me. Oh, don't worry. I won't fly up too high. It's not up I'm worried about. It's down. Here goes. Don't say a word. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The prize winners for the all-time best bird of prey are... In third place... Leave me alone! I'm not dead yet! I said... Hey, Henry, what's the problem? I'm trying to weed the garden, but these guys just won't leave me alone. Can't you just ignore them? Right. How would you like it if... Hey, who's been digging up my garden? Looks like you've got a mole. Ooh, when I catch it, I'll... What sort of a mole is that? There's your culprit, Henry. That's a burrowing owl. A little baby owl did all that digging? That's amazing! He's not a baby. Leave me alone! I tell you, I'm perfectly healthy! What I need is a disguise. Aha! What is it, Henry? Whoa, a falcon's hood. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, calm down, will ya? 
I just want to know if the vultures can see where I am now. Why do you need to ask? Because I can't see anything out of this stupid hood. Well, Henry, that's actually the point. Falcons can be upset by movement, and if they struggle, they can hurt themselves. So falconers keep their birds in the dark, and this keeps them calm. Hmm, these falconers. Are they anything to do with Mr. Spock? So, trying a bit of falconry for yourself, huh, Henry? Sure am. It's not as easy as it looks, though. Falconry can take years to learn. How long have you been practicing? Oh, about five minutes. Hmm. Come on, then. Show me how good you are. Okay. Here goes. Hey, where are you going? Help! Don't worry, Henry. He won't drop you. Once you've been caught by an amazing bird of prey, you stay caught. Henry! Over here! What are you doing there, Henry? Well, I thought I was on vacation. The brochure promised sun, sand, and sea. I don't see any sea. Me either. Do you even know where you are? Somewhere called the Sahara Sunshine Resort. The Sahara? But that's a desert. Oh, what? It's a big hot place with lots of sand, but that's not important right now. So, no free drinks then? Definitely no free drinks. Wait till I see that travel agent. Sheesh, my throat feels like I swallowed a blowtorch. This desert is hot. I mean, Africa hot. Well, that's kind of the point with deserts, Henry. Why don't you try getting out of the sun? Now, there's an idea. Duh. How about sheltering beneath that rock you're standing on? Even in the middle of the day, it can still be cool in the shade. A rock? Shade? No sun umbrella? How cheap is this vacation? Okay, I guess it's worth a try. That is better. What the? Get out of here, you guys. They need to keep cool too, Henry. Cool? Talk about shared body warmth. Why can't they just find their own rock? Hmm? Henry, it's time for your report. Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about camels. Oh, right. Here goes. Sam, how am I doing so far? So far, so good, Henry. I am? Cool. Absolutely and definitely not. Didn't I even get one bit right? Not even one, Henry. Rats. Well, actually, you weren't completely wrong. Who's your friend, Henry? That's my patent-pending automatic water diviner. I get fed up hanging around for the waiter. This is going to lead me straight to the nearest water. Hmm, doesn't seem to be working. Well, water is very scarce in the desert, you know. Some animals have to go for days without a single drop. Well, this lizard can't. Hey, I think we got a bite. Yeah? So where's the water? I don't know. Ow! Oh. Hey! Wait for me! Well, hey, look! Water! Henry, 
Are you okay? Oh, sure. I love the taste of sand. <laughs> Where'd the water go? Henry, I think you just found out what a mirage is. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award. The prize winners for the all-time best desert animal are... Student drivers. Ugh. Hey, I'm a diamond in the rough. Did you find any water then, Henry? Not a drop. The room service in this desert is terrible. Ah, uh, never mind. What do you mean, never mind? I'm so thirsty I could drain Lake Erie. Well, I have an idea that water is on the way. Look over there. Rain? Here? Flowers! In my desert! It was the rain, Henry. It made them bloom. And talking of rain, I can get a drink now. You always could, Henry. Or did you forget? Forget what? Oh, no! It's not a real desert or even a real vacation resort. I've been in my sandbox all along. Sometimes, Henry, I think your imagination gets the better of you. Oh, well. Who needs water when there's root beer? Hey! Hey! Wait up! Those are my sodas! There's plenty for everyone, Henry. Remember, you've got to drink all you can, when you can, when you're an amazing desert animal. Henry, are you all right? No! <laughs> Sure. Well, no. Why? What's happening? It's coming to get us. What is? That is. Ah! Don't let it get me. Oh, Henry. Phew. That was scary. You and your friends have been watching too many horror films. It was only a spider. What's to be scared of? Well, it was. I don't know. It was just scary, okay? Okay, Henry. But maybe you'd feel better if you knew why you were scared. You look much more relaxed now, Henry. I mean, after that nasty scare you had. Scared? Who? Me? Nah, I wasn't scared at all. It was just my friends. Oh, really? Yeah, they're very nervous animals. That's why I brought them along here. There's nothing scary about a nice, quiet cruise. Of course, you're right, Henry. I'm glad to see you're not worried by those old stories. What old stories? Oh, you know, the tales brought back by the ancient sailors of mermaids and fantastic fish and, uh, monsters from the deep. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't believe those old stories. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. What's happened now? Hey, it wasn't my fault. Well, at least we got away from that monster. <laughs> okay, Henry. So are you guys going to take shelter in that cave? Yep. Ah! Ooh, it's kind of spooky. Oh, not again. Look, there's nothing to be scared of. Yeah, you're right. There's nothing to... Ah! <laughs> what are they? Just bats, Henry. Where are you going now? Back home to hide in the closet. It's safer. Henry, it's time for your report. Henry, it's time for your special scary report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about how scary sharks are. Oh, right. Here goes. How am I doing so far? 
Well... It gets better. It's going to have to. You get to stay back after the show. That has to be the worst report ever. Didn't I even get one bit right? Not even one. Double rats. What are you doing now, Henry? <laughs> oh, Henry, don't scare me like that. I scared you? Cool! It's about time someone was frightened by me. <laughs> now, let's see who else I can frighten. <laughs> yes! I'm the scariest lizard in the world! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay. Something smaller, maybe. I wouldn't if I were you. Why not? He's only little. True, but one touch of his skin can kill. <laughs> Henry! And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The prize winners for the all-time best scary animal are... Anything new happening, Henry? Absolutely nothing. Nothing scary, anyway. Oh, no? <laughs> Are you afraid of the dark? It's all right, Henry. It was only me. Excuse me, but that's not very funny. Sorry, Henry. All right, then. No, Henry. There are no such things as ghosts. That's really a barn owl. Okay. So what's that then? Um, <laughs> it's it's okay. It's only your reflection, Henry. Oh, that's a relief. Huh? Creatures of the night. <laughs> ah, Henry. Henry. Henry, is is that you? Ooh. Ah. It was only me. Hello? Hello? Boo! Ah! <laughs> I knew it was you all along. Rats. Remember, most animals only try to be scary to make other animals leave them alone. It's not because they get a kick out of scaring people. Oh, sure. Oh, by the way, did you check under your bed yet? <laughs> no. Oh, Henry, I guess you're never going to overcome your fear of amazing, scary animals. What are all those for? They're the trophies for all the amazing animal record holders. You know, biggest, fastest, tallest, that sort of thing. I want one of those. But what record can I break? How about quietest lizard? Nice try. Hmm, I was pretty good at jumping at school. Let's try that. Henry! Henry! Whoa! Did I break the record? Nope, but it's about the only thing you didn't break. Funny. Very funny. Never mind, Henry. I'm sure there must be some amazing record you can break. There, under starter's orders, and... Hey! Where'd they go? That way, and very quickly, Henry. Rats, I gotta get into training. I don't think even that would help against those guys. Harris can run at up to 50 miles per hour. Excuse me, that's amazing. I bet it's never late for anything. That's not why these guys run fast. Yeah? So why do they then? Henry, it's time for your report. Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about the sloth. Uh, oh, right. <sighs> Here goes! How am 
I doing so far? So far, so good, Henry. I am? Cool. Definitely an or what again, Henry. Didn't I even get one bit right? Maybe, but for all the wrong reasons. Rats. So, have you given up trying to set a world record, Henry? No way. I figure if I can't do something the best, maybe I could make something the best instead. Hmm. So what are you going to make? I'm making it. It's the world's biggest house of cards. That doesn't look very big to me, Henry. Try moving back a bit. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah. The world's first skyscraper of cards. And if I'm not mistaken, the world record animal made building. I'm not so sure, Henry. You'll have to do a lot better to beat those guys down there. What guys? Them, the world's greatest animal builders. They may have been great once, but now it's my turn. Oh no! What have I done? Now what record are you trying to break, Henry? The record for eating the most baked beans in a minute. Hmm. Well, all right then. Get set. Go! No, Henry! Henry! What? You can't use a straw. You're supposed to eat them one by one with a toothpick to get the record. You're kidding! One at a time? What's the point? Hey, I don't know. Henry! Henry! I didn't touch the pie, Mom. What? What? What are you doing in the hospital? Did you hurt yourself trying to break a record? No. I've been waiting to see one of the world's biggest baby. And let me tell you, I've been waiting and waiting. Yes. Uh, which record baby are you actually waiting for? A baby elephant. <laughs> well, no wonder. Didn't you know that an elephant mom takes 23 months to have her baby? Well, I do now. Sheesh. I've been here longer than some of these magazines. Looks like there's another family here, too. Oh, yeah? Sounds like those mice guys did the trick for that elephant, Mom. Wow! What an amazingly big baby! And now, ladies and gentle losers, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award. The prize winners for the all-time best animal record holders are... Still trying to be the fastest, huh, Henry? Yeah, and this time, I'm going to win. Go for it, Henry. Hey! Yay, I did it. Pretty impressive, but not against those slow guys. Well, I had to win somehow. Henry. Animal records are much more about survival than they are about winning. Aww, I'm never going to be able to break any animal records. But you already hold one record. I do? Sure. You hold the record for being the most amazing lizard in the world. The most amazing? Yeah, I am. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. Yep, Henry, you are. And so are all the other amazing animal record holders. Doing some decorating, huh, Henry? Yeah, I need a change from white. I know what you mean. Being happy in your home environment is really important, and there's no better way to make sure it's a home that you like than by painting it your favorite colors. So what colors are you going to use? Well, I thought purple and green. Yuck, Henry, you have no taste. Well, I'm working with you. Go figure. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe you'd get better results if you used one of these. Great! A merry-go-round! It's a color wheel. It helps show which colors go together best. Cool! Oh, I'll make it stop! Well, if you insist... Well, 
Well, that's one way to decorate. Maybe you should take a tip from the colorful world of animals, Henry. Now that's a good strong red. Yeah, nice and bright. You see a lot of reds in nature, like that monarch butterfly. Wow, beautiful. Isn't it? But don't forget, red is also the color for danger. I knew that. If you know so much, then you won't need me to tell you that your ladder is about to fall over. What? Are you okay? I think so. But what have I done to that pigeon? Actually, it's a bleeding heart dove. Did you say bleeding heart? Out of my way! What are you doing? We gotta get that dove to the ER right now. Oh, Henry! Henry, he's not really bleeding. It's just a patch of color that makes it look like he's bleeding. Henry, it's time for your report. Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry. Now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about albino animals. Oh, right. <sighs> Here goes. How am I doing so far? I don't believe it, Henry. You've actually been doing your homework. Uh, yeah, sure I have. That wasn't even worth an or what, Henry? Ghosts. Come on. Didn't I even get one bit right? Not even one, Henry. Rats. For hey, yellow. That's a nice sunny color. Yeah, but I'm improving on it. How can you improve on it? Well, I thought I'd combine it with some big old blobs of brown. See what I mean? <laughs> I guess it does make a neat pattern. Yeah, excellent. Reminds me of something. Can't think of what, though. Hmm, I think I know. Huh? Ah, a leopard! Now I know what that pattern reminded me of. But Henry, you didn't finish yet. You finish it. I'm out of here. What are you doing, Henry? Don't distract me. I'm spraying it all blue. Uh, no, you're not, Henry. Of course I am. Hey. What's going on? You mix the blue with yellow, and that makes green. It does? Excuse me, but that's amazing. Ah! Henry, where are you? I can't see you. I can't see me either. What's happened? Ah, because you're green, you're actually camouflaged against the green background. Really? Wow. Oh. I can't see where I'm going. Do something. Okay, Henry. Thanks. That was weird. Where did they come from? They were camouflaged just like you. Cool. Fellow green guys. What do you say we go get a soda and talk about some green issues and stuff? You know, did I tell you that green was my favorite color? And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The prize winners for the all-time best animal colors are... What's going on here? Well, I figured if I mixed all the amazing colors together, I'd make rainbow paint. I don't think it works that way, Henry. We'll see. Look, when you mix all the colors together, you don't get a rainbow. All you get is a mess. You do? Rats. Maybe it just needs a bit more power. Be careful, Henry. Relax. What can happen? Uh-oh. What a mess. Whoa. That's no mess. That's art. 
I don't think so. Philistine, it's a masterpiece! A pulsating combination of contrasting black and white... Uh, uh, Blobs and squiggles? Oh, all right already. Look, I may not know much about art, but I sure know what I like. Well, I guess it does show that not everything has to be brightly colored to be, um, beautiful. Exactly! So, Henry, have all those animal colors given you any ideas for your decorating? They sure have. Especially the amazing colors of hummingbirds. But those colors are made by light, not paint. Yeah, I know. Hit it, guys. What's the matter, Henry? No time to talk. We gotta get out of here. Is someone after you? Worse. Earthquake? Flood? Plague of locusts? No. Worse. My mom's come to visit. <laughs> Hello, Henry. Henry, this place is a mess. <sighs> A mother's work is never done. She's right, Henry. This place is a mess. Yeah, I know. What a party. But what have you got against your mom, Henry? Mothers are real important. Yeah, right. All they do is sleep. Like that lioness. There's obviously a lot you don't know about moms, Henry. Oh, yeah? Yeah. See? Lying in bed. Being a mom is so easy. Well, I'd like to see you have a baby, Henry. Okay. How hard can it be? Hmm, now, where do I get a baby from? I've seen them in shopping carts. But I never found which aisle they were in. You don't get babies from supermarkets, Henry. You don't? Hmm, okay. What we need here is the phone book. Okay, stork, stork, stork. You don't get them from storks either. No? Oh, all right. So where do babies come from then? <laughs> well, uh, you see, it's, it's like this. Uh, uh, let's look at some animals. Maybe that'll give you some idea. <laughs> okay. Hey, Henry! It's time for your report. Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry. Now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us what being an animal mother is all about. Oh, right. Here goes. How am I doing so far? I'm not sure yet. What is their thing? I'm getting to that. Sheesh. Give a lizard a break, huh? So, did I get an A? A Z would be more like it, Henry. Didn't I even get one bit right? Not even one, Henry. Rats. Actually, Henry! Over here! Henry, where did that baby come from? It's my little cousin, Lizzie. You know who said I'd look after her for the day. Make it stop! Maybe she's hungry. Hey, do you think she likes some of this? Henry, I don't think you should do that. It's, it's not your food. Yeah, yeah. Henry! She won't stay still. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm doing my best. Okay? Oh. Hey, this isn't easy. Well, babies aren't easy, Henry. Moms have to work really hard just to find food for their kids. And they really hate snack nappers. <coughs> I think she's pretty mad, Henry. Come on, Lizzie. We'd better get out of her way. 
Lots of animal moms have a really tough time feeding and protecting their kids. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The prize winners for the all-time best animal mother are... Henry, you're getting covered in mud. What a mess. And your mom just cleaned in there. Look, this is my house. I can do what I want. Henry, huh? don't walk on my nice clean floor with your muddy feet. Told you. Or on the ceiling. <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Henry. I was always a messy child. Some things never change. Hey, whose side are you on anyway? Always knew best, didn't you? I remember one... Oh, no. Not that story. Please, show some more animals. Quick. Okay, Henry. Henry, have you finished that washing yet? I'm doing it all right. Good because there are the windows to wash, the floor to vacuum, the cupboards to clean out, the bed to make. Okay, sheesh. Sooner she goes home, the better. Henry, after <laughs> everything I've done for you. Ah! Oh, Mom, not the photos. Yes, Henry, we mothers do everything for our children. And what do they do? They leave home and they never call. Hey, where are you going? Um, I'm going to phone my mom. Kids, you're all the same. Finally helping out, huh, Henry? I sure am! Henry. I'm sorry, Mom. Never mind, dear. I'll clean up. You will? Of course. What are moms for? Oh, I love you, Mom. I know you do, dear. Now, where did I put that mop? That was nice, Henry. You see, mothers really are very important. Sure they are. Who else is going to clean up after us? Henry. Oh, I don't mean it. I know she's the greatest, really. Thank you, dear. After all, without our amazing mothers, none of us would be here, would we? Keep your nose clean now, Henry. And enter. Oh, boy! No. No way! Uh, definitely not! What are you doing, Henry? Looking for my ideal pet. Pet? But you couldn't get any of those. Tell me about it. Have you seen the price of llamas these days? But what's wrong with a pet like a dog or a cat? Mm, I want something interesting. That's why I'm using this pet service to help me find my ideal companion animal. Ooh! A boa constrictor? Well, I guess you could cuddle one, but it'd probably be the last thing you did. Oh, any suggestions then? I suggest you think about why you want a pet before you rush into choosing one. Henry, if you're going to get a pet, then maybe you should find one that you know how to take care of, like a dog. A dog? But they need exercise, grooming, they chew the furniture, and... Aww, isn't he cute? Maybe a dog wouldn't be so bad. Well, they are called man's best friend. Uh, in case you hadn't noticed, I'm a lizard. <laughs> okay, Henry. But dogs are normally really friendly and very loyal. And there are hundreds of different types to choose from. Hmm, too big. Too small. Okay for polishing the car. I don't think so. And what is that? It's called a pulley. Ooh, okay. Could number six turn around, please? Cool! A reversible dog! 
Ah, uh, now that's more like it. Have you found one you like? Whoa, Henry! That's a wolf! So? Let me explain something to you, Henry. Wolves may be the ancestors of domestic dogs. Henry, it's time for your report. Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about why hamsters are so popular. Oh, right. Here goes. Oh. How am I doing so far? Very impressive, Henry. You've been studying for once. Uh, yeah. Sure I have. That was so bad, you get to stay behind after the show. Didn't I even get one bit right? Yeah, but only one. Rats. You were right about them all coming from one family. What's the matter, Henry? You look exhausted. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I think you were right about that wolf. It just took me for a walk. You mean you took it for a walk? I know what I mean. Oh, dear. What about a cat instead? They're popular pets. You know, the ancient Egyptians used to worship them. Right now, I'll worship anything that doesn't eat my sofa. Okay, then. Bring on the cats. Oh, wants to play hide and seek, huh? I can do that. Henry, where are you going? Say, where'd he go? I like that one. Oh, well. How about a short hair? With this decor, I'd never find him. Ah, here we go. Now, he'd keep the wolf from the door. No, Henry, you can't be serious. Sure, why not? Well, if you don't know, why don't you try petting him and then let me know how many legs you've got left. Still no answer then, Henry? No. How long does it take to select a big, exciting pet that doesn't cost much and doesn't need too much attention? No wonder it's taking so long. You really want the moon on a stick. No, I want a pet. Having any kind of pet is a big responsibility, Henry. You know, I'm not even sure you'd look after a pet properly. I, I would look after it. I would. I would. Fine, but just look at all the things you need to keep a pet healthy and happy. It's a lot more work and expense than you think, Henry. It is? I thought you just played ball with them and stuff. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The prize winners for the all-time best animal pet are... Henry, where are you? Up here! Ah! <laughs> Henry. What were you doing on that pony? Well, if I'm going to be spending all that time taking care of a pet, I may as well get one that'll earn its keep. Well, it can be a good idea. Many animals do work for their owners, but... But nothing! Right, Pooch? That's not just any Pooch, Henry. That sheepdog can round up more than a hundred sheep at a time. Yeah? But can he do this? Uh, the real point is, you don't have any sheep. So? So you've got no work for a sheepdog to do. Sure I have. They don't do housework, Henry. Oh. oh what's that noise, Henry? It sounds like... Oops. No sheep, eh? Last time I listened to you. Bad luck, Henry. Oh, Henry. Hey, I was watching that. Henry? Will you tell this guy to stop hogging the remote control? You never learn, do you? You can't keep an elephant as a pet. Mm, you're telling me. So is that what the pet service selected as your ideal pet? Nah, I was just trying it out. I'm bored waiting for the answer. You're still waiting? Yeah, feels like forever. It is a big decision, Henry. Hey, here it comes. Well, well, come on. Excuse me? <laughs> a cactus? 
Ah, uh, never mind, Henry. At least you won't have to work too hard taking care of it. True. My new best friend. Just goes to show, Henry. The world is full of amazing animal pets. You just have to find the one that suits you best, even if it is a plant. Hi, Henry. The seashore is an amazing place, isn't it? No, it's boring. No one to play with. I can't find anything to do. Great! Footprints! There must be someone here after all. I don't think so, Henry. Those are your footprints. You're on a desert island. What? You fell asleep in your little boat, didn't you? You drifted off, and now you're stranded on a desert shore miles from civilization. Mommy! If this island is deserted, then there's definitely no one to play with. No one to talk to. It'll be like cabin fever, only outside. I'll go insane! Calm down, Henry. There may be no people around, but the seashore is loaded with life. Say, what's the rush? Hey, maybe the ice cream stand just opened. Wait for me! Rats. Enjoying yourself, Henry? No, I couldn't find the ice cream stand anywhere. If you want to find anything on the beach, you'll have to go beachcombing and see what's been washed up on the shores. What shores? I'll have a lemonade. Thanks, Henry. Excuse me. I do the jokes around here. Huh. huh. Not so much as a shrimp cocktail in sight. Nope. Nothing in here. I can hear the sea, though. Of course you can. You're standing right next to it. Ow! That shell picked me. That's a hermit crab, Henry. They live in shells that they find. Hey! Come back here and take it like a... like a crab! Cool it, Henry. Henry! It's time for your report. Henry! It's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry. Now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about seagulls. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Here goes. How am I doing so far? Well, okay, I guess. I am? Cool. Another Z for the collection, Henry. Didn't I even get one bit right? Not exactly. Rats. You see... I see you made a shelter, Henry. It's a house. I made it from stuff I found on the seashore. Just like Robinson Crusoe. But it's hard work. I need a drink. Where are you going to find water around here? Duh. There's a pool right there. No, Henry. That's not fresh water. It's salty, like the sea, remember? Now he tells me. <laughs> oh, Henry, looks like you've picked up a hitchhiker. What? Ah, get off! Hey, a coconut. I think he wants you to have it, Henry. Thanks, man. Maybe we could be friends, huh? Well, Robinson Crusoe had his man Friday. And now I got my crab, um, Tuesday. Come on, Tuesday. Let's see what else we can find in this rock pool. You might find a lot more than you think, Henry. <sighs> Nothing to do at all day to do it in. Having a good vacation, Henry. No, I'm bored stiff. The seaside is supposed to be full of families having fun. But there's no one here. I think Tuesday wants to show you something. Huh? Hey! Wait for me! What are we looking at? There's nobody here. 
This is a real waste of time. Come on, Tuesday. Let's... Tuesday! Oh, no. The poor thing. What? He's on vacation with his mom. He's not on vacation, Henry. He lives here. I didn't know he had a family, though. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Award. The prize winners for the all-time best seashore animal are... Nice sandcastle, Henry. But don't you think you built it too close to the sea? Nah, the sand's over here, and the sea's over there. Hey, what's going on? The tide's coming in. No way! Come on, Tuesday! We can hold it back! <laughs> oh, yeah? Where are you going? We already did burying in sand. Uh-oh! All right! Ben 10! Or, uh, 8 in your case. Oh, man! What a wipeout! Ow! Oh, cool! Finally found something to do, huh, Henry? Yeah, it's amazing what you can find on the seashore. Okay, Tuesday, play ball! Great shot, Tuesday. Now what are we gonna do? What was that? A ship! You're saved, Henry. Now you can go back to civilization. Yeah, back home to all that great noise and pollution. And oh, forget that. I'm staying here with my friend. I don't blame you, Henry. Maybe Tuesday can teach you how to be an amazing seashore animal as well. Wow, those cookies look good, Henry. Yeah, that's because I made them to look like me. <laughs> huh? Hey, don't eat all my food. Who invited you guys anyway? Don't be mean, Henry. Big families need a lot to eat. So I see. I'm glad I didn't have any brothers or sisters. Oh, come on, Henry. Having a big family can be nice. Not when they eat all your party food, it isn't. You're having a party? What for? For my birthday! Don't tell me you forgot! Of course not. I was just, uh, teasing. Very funny. So what did you get me, huh? Huh? Um... Hey, a card! Who's it from? Great Uncle George? I didn't know I had a Great Uncle George. Ah, uh, you see, families are more than just your mom and dad, Henry. You probably have lots of relatives. I do? Hey, maybe I should invite them all to the party. That's a nice thought, Henry. Yeah. More presents! Yay! Henry, shouldn't you wait till your relatives get here before you unwrap your presents? Uh, oh, but it's only one. It's from my uncle. Great Uncle George? Yeah! Well, just this one. <gasps> wow! A racing car! He really is a great uncle! No fooling! Too bad he wasn't around when I was growing up. Why is that? All Mom and Dad ever bought me was sweaters. Being a parent is about more than just buying presents, Henry. It is? Sure it is. Where I ever heard of it? Henry, it's time for your report. Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about prairie dog families. Oh, right. <sighs> Here goes. How am I doing so far? Pretty good, really. I am? Cool. I guess I don't get an A then, huh? Not even a Z, Henry. Didn't I even get one bit right? Not even one, Henry. 
rats. Actually, <laughs> what are you doing, Henry? I'm making my family tree, of course. What does it look like? Will it, um... Look, family tree. Family tree. Yes, Henry. So, you've got more relatives than you thought, huh? Sure have. Still, I'm kind of glad I didn't grow up with them all. Why is that? Well, how could my mom have coped with all those when she couldn't even cope with me? <laughs> Funny, Henry, but don't you see that that's just why having an extended family can be a good thing? There are lots of aunts and uncles around to help out. Yeah, well, I guess. Uh, oh, oh. Maybe one or two too many in my case. <laughs> you can never have too many relatives, Henry. What are you looking for, Henry? Who, me? Oh, nothing. Yes, you are. You're looking for your present, the one from me, aren't you? No, no, no. Well, yes, kinda. Hey, you did get me a present. I, I, Henry. Out of my way, guys. Lizard with a birthday coming through. Sheesh. Have a little patience, Henry. Patience, shmations. I want my present. Hmm, I wonder. It's not up there, Henry. Oh, really? Absolutely not. I don't believe you. <coughs> Are you okay? Sure. Hey, what is it? It's a kaleidoscope. Wow. Hey, cool. Look, hundreds of Henrys. What a horrible thought. Funny. Very funny. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award. The prize winners for the all-time best animal family are... What's the matter, Henry? No one came to my party. All those new relatives. And not one of them is here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Henry. But families can't always be together, you know. Yeah. But it's my birthday. I wish I'd never found out about my family. Oh, Henry, you don't mean that. Yes, I do. Come on now. I think you're more upset about not getting presents than you are about your family not turning up. Hey, who's at the door? I... I... I don't know. What are they then, Henry? Swans. What do they look like? Not them. All right! Presents! And everybody is here after all! Yay! That's great, Henry. You're a very lucky lizard. Hey, guys! Wake up! We got a lot of cleaning up to do. Good party, huh, Henry? Amazing! What do you say, guys? Guys? I thought you said families helped each other. Well, mostly they do. Yeah, well, mine just helped themselves to my food, my soda, and all my presents. It's called sharing, Henry. That's what families do. Well, why don't they do their share of the cleaning up then, huh? Henry, don't be so ungrateful. Uh, I know. It was all worth it. It's just that I'd be grateful for some peace and quiet right now. <laughs> okay, Henry. I guess even you deserve a break from your amazing animal family. Hi there, Henry. What's with the hat? I'm going in search of big game. Ah, there's something now. Henry, you can't shoot that leopard. I'm not hunting it. I'm taking its picture. Oh, that's good. You do know that leopards are endangered animals. Excuse me. Of course I know they're dangerous. Not dangerous, endangered. It means there are very few of them left. They could soon be extinct. What? Like the dinosaurs? You mean all gone? That's right. Uh-oh! 
if he's hungry, then I'm the one that's endangered. Excuse me while I make myself scarce. Being in danger and being endangered are very different things, Emma. You can't spray those bugs, Henry. Why not? Well, just think, if the bugs are poisoned, and the frogs eat the bugs, and then the heron eats the frogs... Wow! Then they all get poisoned, too. Yikes! Maybe I won't spray after all. I guess I'd better get back to my other hobby. And what's that? Boat building. Really? Yeah. I got some great wood all the way from the South American rainforests. No! Henry! Henry, it's time for your report. It's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us what happened to the passenger pigeon, Henry. Oh, right. Here goes. Did all. How am I doing so far? Very good, Henry. So why did they disappear? I'm getting to that. You're just so impatient. Even an or what would be too good for that report. Didn't I even get one bit right? Not even one, Henry. Rats. Who are you calling little? Say, what's with the statues? Well, that's a great auk, and that's a dodo, a mammoth. A mammoth? Aren't they extinct? They sure are, and so are all these others. Excuse me, all of them? Yep, and there are many other animals around the world whose time is running out. Hey, but the tiger isn't extinct. No, not yet, but it looks like it could be only a matter of time before. Before what? Oh, no. Henry, what's that? It's my ark. I made it myself. Yeah, but what are you going to do with it? I'm saving us all from extinction. That's what. Henry, come out of there. I don't think we're due for a flood. And anyway, you're not an endangered animal. Excuse me. I'm one of a kind. I'm as rare as you get. We're all grateful for that. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award. The prize winners for my all-time favorite endangered animal are... And that's when you pounce, okay? Hey, don't blame me. That's just what leopards do. It ought to come naturally to you. What's this, Henry? Your idea of a finishing school for animals? Oh, ha, ha. I'm just showing them how to survive in the wild. You know, from one rare species to another. Actually, that's a pretty great idea, Henry. Only for most endangered animals, there's no wild left to go back to. No wild? But where will they live? They can't all stay here forever. Well, until their wild homes are safe. It means that we have to look after them the best we can. I guess. Tell you what, though. What's that, Henry? That leopard isn't going to get my bed. <laughs> On second thoughts, be my guest. Boy, those endangered animals. They're more trouble than they're worth. Hey, leave some for the others. No wonder everyone's endangered with you eating all their food. How's the animal sanctuary going, Henry? Oh, great. It's the grocery bill I'm worried about. Well, he is a big, wild animal. Big? You should see what he did in my slippers. Maybe this isn't the best place to keep them after all. Yeah, I guess they need to be cared for by people who really know what they're doing. You're right, Henry. But don't forget, there are ways for us all to take care of amazing, endangered animals. Now, I know I put them in here somewhere. What did you lose, Henry? Are you sure it's the right time of year for sunglasses? What do you mean? I try 
tried to warn you. Thanks a lot. Maybe now would be a good time to sort your closet out. You know, warm for winter and cool for summer? Hey, I'm always cool. But the weather isn't. You need to be prepared for the different times of the year. Look, check out this calendar. All right, the four seasons. Winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Don't you mean fall, Henry? You just had to say fall, didn't you? Are you sure, Henry? Summertime, and the living is easy. I think you'll find it's winter. Smart guy! Boy, it sure is cold. I warned you, Henry. You've got to wrap up warm when you go out in winter. Yeah? Well, I've got a better idea. Henry? Henry! Keep it down, will ya? I'm trying to sleep. I suppose staying in bed is one way to deal with the cold. You better believe it. Now don't forget to wake me up when winter's over, okay? <laughs> Henry! Henry! Wake up, it's spring! Huh? Spring? Great! No more winter! Well, that's the good news. What's the bad news? It's spring cleaning time! Oh, no! Oh, yes. Sheesh! You're worse than my mom! <laughs> there! Clean at last! Great job, Henry, but... But what? Don't you think you should have checked before you hung all your washing outside? Checked? Checked what? The weather forecast. Spring isn't always sunny, you know. Oh, no! It's raining! Rats! Rain showers are a pretty regular feature in springtime, Henry. Henry, it's time for your report. Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about how animals tell the time. Uh, oh, right. Here goes. How am I doing so far? So far, so good, Henry. I am? Cool. Not even an or what? Didn't I even get one bit right? Not even one, Henry. Rats. Actually, many animals do have a natural alarm clock. <laughs> A little overdressed for summer, aren't you? Hey, you can never be too careful with these pesky seasons. But it's a really beautiful day today. I'm taking no chances. Whoa! Who turned on the furnace? See? You're not going to need all that stuff. That's what you think. <coughs> there. I'm smarter than I look, you know. Really? Uh... <coughs> Look, someone left a picnic out. I wonder who. I think I know. Hey, I was here first. Get your own food, man. No, Henry. What? Henry, it is his food. Uh, he won't mind. Bears love to share. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. For the all-time best season of the year are Ah, this is the life. Long hot summer days. It's not summer anymore, Henry. It's fall. The season of mists and changing colors. And damp leaves. Nice strong breeze, though. Ah! Mm, maybe a bit too strong. Hey, wait! I got the perfect thing for this season. Let's 
go fly a kite. Whoa, wait a second. Ah! Hey, guys, where are you going? They're flying south for the winter, Henry. I've never seen a lizard doing it, though. There's a first time for everything. See you in Bora Bora. Yeah, as long as you've got the wind at your back. And speaking of snow, what are you doing, Henry? Absolutely nothing. I've had it with the seasons. But you can't. Seasons are part of the whole year. Look, we're back to winter again. You mean I've got to go through all that again? Yep. Every year the same. Every year? Right, that's it. This lizard is staying right here. But Henry, you can't. It may feel cozy indoors, but not for a whole year. Won't you get lonely? Nope. I've got plenty of friends here. Come on, guys. We got soda, we got chips, we got cable, we got... Hey, don't go to sleep. The pizza hasn't even gotten here yet. They're hibernating, Henry. What? You mean they're all going to sleep through winter? Well, yes, to get rested. Ready for another amazing animal year. Aww. And we had such a great show on TV, too. Oh, yeah? What's it called? Amazing Animals, of course. <laughs> of course. Hey, Henry! Coming through, coming through! Hey, out of my way, Slowpoke! Have some respect, Henry. That tortoise is a very ancient animal. You're telling me? Hey, make way for the younger generation! No! I mean that some animals, like tortoises, have been around since prehistoric times. Prehistoric? Yeah, you know, before history, a time when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Excuse me, are you telling me this guy's a dinosaur? Well, kind of. But dinosaurs are big and scary. I've seen scarier things than him in my breakfast cereal. Not all dinosaurs were big and scary, Henry. Some were almost as small as you. They were? Hey, this I gotta see. <coughs> Uh, Henry? Henry! Uh, the dinosaurs have been dead for millions of years. How do you think you're going to actually see them? In my time machine, of course. <laughs> It'll never work. Oh, yeah, Clever Clogs? See you later. Uh, I mean, earlier. Henry? Henry! Wait for me! Travel sick. You need some fresh air. Why don't you take a walk around? <laughs> Yuck! What a slime fest! Where am I? You're in a prehistoric forest, Henry. I've never seen trees like this. These are tree ferns. They made up the world's first ever forests. But you know, you can still find a few of them around today. Wow! They must be almost as old as you! <laughs> yeah, thank you, Henry. You're welcome! <laughs> what was that? It was just a dragonfly, Henry. But it was giant! Many ancient insects looked a lot like those we see today, but much bigger. Just how do you know these things? Whoa, before you answer that, uh, you wouldn't have any bug spray on you. No. Look, Henry, we know these ancient insects were real because some of them got trapped in the sticky sap of trees. The sap eventually hardened into amber, preserving their bodies right up till today. Excuse me, that's amazing. But uh, they couldn't have been too smart. I mean, getting stuck in tree sap? <laughs> Oh, no, Henry? Look out! Whoa! Come on! We're out of here! Pretty amazing, huh, Henry? Henry? Hey, Henry, it's time for your special report. What? Now? Yes, Henry, now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. Oh. What was it about again? 
You're supposed to be telling us all about what happened to the dinosaurs. Oh, right. Here goes. Dinosaurs. How am I doing so far? So far, so good, Henry. Really? So, did I get an A or what? Definitely an or what, Henry. Didn't I even get one bit right? Not even one, Henry. Rats. Okay, so where are we now? We've traveled to the Age of Reptiles. Where did that music come from? You know, all that time travel makes a lizard thirsty. Hey, waiter, there's a salamander in my water. Wait a minute, they're not reptiles. You're right, Henry, they're amphibians. The first animals to leave the water and spend part of their lives on land. They were the ancestors of the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, yeah, right. Yes, dinosaurs. Dinosaur! Henry, dinosaur! Where? Behind you! Huh? It was behind you, Henry. Oh, right. Like I'm gonna fall for that one. Ah! Don't worry, Henry. It was only a bearded lizard. Well, it looked like a dinosaur. That's because lizards are reptiles. They're kind of a descendant of the dinosaur. But of course, this fellow would know all about dinosaurs. He was around at exactly the same time they were. Huh? What fellow? Ah! Don't worry, Henry. He can't see you if you stay still. If you think I'm staying still with him around, you're crazier than I thought! Whoa! And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The prize winners for the all-time best prehistoric animal are... Whenever we are now, it sure is cold. That's because we're in the last ice age, Henry, about 10,000 years ago. Here, maybe this will help. Thanks, that's a lot better. Hey, we're in a cave. It's not just a cave, Henry. It's somebody's home. Whose? Can't you tell by the paintings? What? We turned into an art program all of a sudden? No, Henry. Those are primitive paintings made by cavemen. They show all the animals they used to hunt, like the bison. Whoa! But not dinosaurs, right? Right. Dinosaurs died out long before people came on the scene. Now that looks like a tiger's skull. Uh, nope. That's a saber-toothed tiger. They became extinct thousands of years ago. Ah! Try telling that guy! Whoa! Well, we're back, Henry. We are? Great. The past was a little too scary for my liking. Ah! It's all right, Henry. It's only a fossil. A what? A fossil. The remains of an ancient animal that fell into mud. Over the years, the animal and the mud turned into hard rock, and that's how some ancient skeletons have been preserved. Excuse me, but that's amazing. Other animals have been preserved in ice. Even animals the size of woolly mammoths. Hey, that guy looks like his whole body got frozen. It certainly did, Henry. But even after thousands of years, the ice preserved the animals so well that people could still eat the meat. A 10,000-year-old meal? Yeah, they should have read the expiration date. <sighs> it's a shame these animals aren't still around. That's evolution for you, Henry. Most animals just weren't equipped to survive all the changes this planet's been through. But there have been exceptions. I thought there might be. These guys are like living fossils. Now, come on. I've got a surprise for you. This isn't a fossil, is it? 
Yes, it is, Henry. It's a fossilized footprint. Sometimes the footprints of ancient animals got preserved just like their bones. Using these, scientists have been able to work out how big some of these animals were and even how fast they could run. Excuse me, but that's amazing. You know, this one looks familiar. Hey, it fits! It's your footprint. The mud you stepped in back in that ancient forest has become a fossil, Henry. That's amazing! You can just call me Henry Saurus for short. Yes, Henry, on this show, even you get to be an amazing <laughs> prehistoric animal. Henry, what are you doing? I'm Henry, the ape lizard. What does it look like? It looks like you're monkeying around, that's what. You just haven't got what it takes to be a primate. Primate? Ate what? My cookies? No, Henry. Primate is the correct name for all monkeys and apes. It is, huh? Why can't you just call them all monkeys? Now what are you doing, Henry? Swinging! See, I'm pretty good at this primate stuff. Being a monkey is great. Well, there are some things they can do that you can't, you know. Hey, anything they can do, I can do better. Hmm, sounds like a cue for a song. No, it doesn't. Aw, but I can do anything better than them. No, you can't. <sighs> Henry, you can't even swing from your tail. You think so, huh? Watch and be amazed! You say I told you so, and I'm looking for a new partner. Hey, Henry! It's time for your report! Henry, it's time for your special report! What? Now? Yes, Henry. Now. Oh. You are ready, aren't you? Uh, of course I am. What was it about again? You're supposed to be telling us all about Gibbons. Uh, oh, right. Here goes. How am I doing so far? Pretty good, really. I am? Cool. Well, you certainly get an A for effort, Henry. That was nearly right. Cool! But where did I go wrong? Well, kind of near the start, really. Oh. Okay! Who ordered the pepperoni? Anyone? Anyone? Henry, please drop that ridiculous accent. Oh. Anyway, I thought you were supposed to be making a film. I am! I've got a secret camera. It's under the pizza. Good thinking, Henry. Monkeys can be shy. Uh, how are you going to get them close enough to film? I'm using the pizza as bait, of course. Sheesh. You've got a lot to learn about monkeys, Henry. They don't eat pizza. Everyone eats pizza! No, Henry. You think they get deliveries in the middle of the jungle? No. Monkeys and apes have very different diets. They don't look fat to me. They're not on a diet to lose weight. I just mean that wild monkeys eat different foods from people. And that means no pizza. No wonder they're wild. I'd be furious. Ah, uh, Henry. So tell me, what's it like not having a prehensile tail? Hello? Hello? Testing, testing. One, two. Nine? Oh. Well, the mic's working. They're just not saying anything. Did you expect them to? Well, a simple yes or no would do. Monkeys don't talk the way we do, Henry. So how do they use the phone? They don't. But 
there are plenty of other ways they do communicate, just so they can keep in touch with all the members of their family. So they do talk in a way. Yes, okay. Only not in a way that you would understand. Hmm. Well, I hope they can understand this. Cut! And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award. The prize winners for the all-time best monkey or ape are... What's with the map, Henry? I'm doing my research. Oh, what are all the flags for? They show all the places in the world where monkeys and apes live. I'm trying to decide where the best place to go film them is. Wow. Where are you going to go? Well, I could go to the rainforests of Central America and film the loudest monkey in the world, the howler monkey. I think all that howling would give me a headache. Okay. So where else could you go? I could go to the tiny rock of Gibraltar. They don't want to be in the film. Oh, this is hopeless. Can't you think of a good primate to film? <laughs> well, since you are in Africa... I am? Yes. I think you should film the greatest of all the great apes, the gorilla. Yeah! Excellent! I know all about gorillas. Really? You do? Sure! I know what I'm doing! So, Henry, I guess you're not going to be a wildlife cameraman after all. You guessed right. Too dangerous for my lizard blood. But you still discovered some amazing things about monkeys and apes, didn't you? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, like the way they're so similar to people. I know what you mean, Henry. They even have a sense of humor. They do? Hey, that's something I didn't know. I can see that, Henry. Look out! Oh, right. And that was just so funny. I thought so. You would. You know, there's something else I learned from all this filming. And what's that? How to say cut! <laughs> Bye, Henry. I guess it's time to call a wrap on the amazing world of monkeys and apes. Hi, Henry. What are you two doing? Me and Crab Tuesday are going hunting. Hunting? In a supermarket? Yeah. We're hunting for bargains. <laughs> oh, right. You're no hunter, Henry. I am too a hunter. I'm hunting for the cheapest pizza, pretzels, soda. Nothing but the best, huh? What do you mean? That's the best party food. Ah, so you're hunting for bargains for a party. Sure am. Got lots of guests coming. Now, where's that meat counter? Why don't you ask that leopard? They're real hunters, and all they eat is meat. <laughs> Maybe we don't need meat after all. <laughs> Some hunter. Real hunters have to use perseverance, not to mention patience, skill, and natural cunning. Excuse me. I've only got seventeen fifty to pay for this whole party. I'd like to see a leopard do that. All right, these are cheap. That's much better. No, Tuesday! How did you do that? <laughs> Quick, Tuesday! We don't have much time! <laughs> Not that quick. Come on, we got a party to get ready. You get the plates, and I'll get the... Food? Where'd all the food go? Save the dancing for the party. Just tell me where the food is. <coughs> oh, you're no help. What am I going to do? A real animal hunter would be able to find food on their own, Henry. Yeah, I don't need any help. I'll show you how good a hunter I am. Okay, so it's not in there. Not there. Nope. I'm kind of glad it wasn't in there. Come on, Henry. Your guests will be here soon. Can't you say anything helpful? Okay. How about timber? Whoa! Henry, 
Like, what's with all the mess? I guess you haven't found the food yet? Uh, duh, smart guy. Henry, you looked in there already. I looked everywhere already. You don't... you don't think that someone took your food, do you? Excuse me! That's exactly what I think! This is a job for... Henry! The Great Detective! Once we've eliminated the, uh, possible, all that's left is to... To look completely ridiculous. You'll see. I'll find the food napper. Ah, what have we here? And where were you on the night of the great marshmallow theft, hey? It's only a praying mantis. Well, it better pray I don't catch it with my party snacks. Hmm, trying to hide, huh? You have the right to remain silent, but it doesn't help me much. You know, you could take a tip from that horned frog. It does all its hunting by just sitting and waiting. I don't have time to sit and wait. My guests will be here any minute. I gotta hunt down that food. Uh, nice and subtle, Henry. Henry! Henry! It's time for your news report. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, super glue. Just how safe is it for lizards? And top designers agree. Stripes are in this season. But now, our top story. And next, the weather. The weather? The weather I got it right, or whether I got it wrong. Take a guess. Rats. It's not always easy to track down your food. Aha! Just as I thought, the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Oops. Something the matter? Mm, they're not food thieves. These are my party guests. Uh, just a little joke, guys. <laughs> Maybe they could help you hunt down. Easy to track down your food. Aha! Just as I thought, the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Oops. Something the matter? Mm, they're not food thieves. These are my party guests. Uh, just a little joke, guys. <laughs> Maybe they could help you hunt down your food. Hunting can be much easier in groups. Good idea. Hey, guys, how about we play a party game? It's called Hunt the Horses Doovers. Or Dervs. Either one. Aren't you going to help them? The key to any successful investigation, delegate all the work. Hmm, wonder what's on TV. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. Uh, the prize winners for the all-time best amazing animal hunter are... Any news from your pack of hunters, Henry? Yes, and all bad. Oh. So why are you fishing then? Stress relief? No, it's the only place we haven't looked for the food. Looks like you caught something. Finally! We can eat! Want <laughs> be eaten? Run! Oh, Henry, you're so tough. 
You still hiding from that sea monster, Henry? No, we're doing the crossword. Three letters. Ask stupid questions. Hmm. Oh yeah, I know. You. What's that noise? Oh no, the monster's coming to get us. Hide! You are hiding. Okay, hide more. I see Tuesday found the shopping then. Mm, too bad he couldn't find the brakes, too. Where was it, Tuesday? Uh, rats. What did he say? What was that? He said he picked it up back at the supermarket. The supermarket? Yeah. Well, I thought they delivered. Henry, after all that hunting, you left it at the store? So? Look, I'm still a hunter in training. Well caught, Henry. Maybe you will make an amazing animal hunter after all. Mm -hmm. Sunshine! Hello, surf! Hello, two weeks of fun and games! Hi, Henry! Hiya! Hold on! I'm on vacation. I don't have to talk to you. Well, excuse me. Taxi! Hello, dog! Hotel Malamar and make it snappy. Hello? Hello? Having problems communicating, Henry? I fly halfway around the world, no problem. But can I get a taxi to take me down the street? Maybe he doesn't understand you. No. Oh. Okay. Take me to the Hotel Malamar! <laughs> no, Henry. Saying it slower doesn't help. He doesn't even understand your language. Hmm. You mean, I gotta speak dog? Ugh. Woof! Woof! Bark! Woof! Hey, you! Come back! I'm no expert at speaking dog, but I think you've offended him. All I said was woof. Sometimes it's not what you say, but how you say it. Ah, the Hotel Malamar at last. Hello. Uh, I mean, Ribbit. Uh, have you got any messages for me? Has my mom called? You know, on the telephone? Your mom? Aw, oh, how sweet. She worries, all right? Wow, who says you can't get good service these days? No, no, no! A message! Is there a message for me? Anything in the pigeonhole? Ah! I think he's trying to tell you that there is a message. Either that, or he needs the bathroom real bad. That's his way of talking, Henry. Henry! Henry! It's time for your news report. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, an eyewitness report from our treetop reporter. And Tortoise gets knocked out of gymnastic finals. But now, our top story. You think they bought it? You couldn't even give it away, Henry. Rats. Actually, Henry, the... Where are you going, Henry? No, sightseeing. Lost, huh? Yep. 
Need directions? No, no, no. Not me. Uh, excuse me. I mean, gobble, gobble, squawk. Henry, now you're talking turkey. You've learned a language. Mm, oh, yeah. Is this the way to the museum? <laughs> so I just go down here and turn left, right? No? Right. Or left. Uh-huh. I thought you said you spoke the tongue. Ew, leave tongues out of it. What did he say? I think he wants you to walk that way. Well, I'll try, but I don't really have the legs for it. Um, Henry. Gobble, gobble. Wow, friendly locals. You seem to be doing okay, Henry, even with your basic vocabulary. Thanks. Even if my covo... My vola... Vocabulary. Even if the only words I know are hello and follow me. Aha. Uh -huh. That might explain it. Explain what? Excuse me. Could you please go away? I said go away. Cluck, gobble, bark, moo, moo, and all that. I think something must have gotten lost in the translation. I'd rather they got lost. How do you say, go away? And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Awards. And the nominees for the all-time best amazing animal talker are... Uh-huh. Uh, really? Great. What's he saying, Henry? I have absolutely no idea. But it's really starting to bore me. For a moment, I thought you'd managed to learn their languages. I thought I'd try. That's why I asked them back to my hotel. Great. Now you've got some vacation friends. Some friends. Hey, leave that alone. That's mine. Oh, I just wish they wouldn't mess with my stuff. Excuse me. Get your head out of my lunch. Can't you do something? Don't look at me. I'm a narrator, not an interpreter. Hey, you're talking to the animals, Henry. Of course. Now I can understand them. It turns out they're all total party animals. So you finally learned their languages, huh? No. I hired this guy instead. He's a great translator. That's cheating. You've got an interpreter. You'll never learn anything that way. Sure I will. I learned to talk a parrot into working for peanuts, didn't I? I should have guessed, Henry. After all, you are one of the most amazing animal talkers around. Hi, Henry. I see you have green fingers. Duh. I'm just cleaning up in the garden. Say, where did that yucky stuff come from? Oh, gross. What is it? That's slime, Henry. I can see it's slimy. But how? I just cleaned. No, it's slime. It was left there by an animal making a trail. Excuse me, a trail to what? As if I want to know. It might be from a snail, or maybe a slug. Oh, right. Like those little guys carry around buckets of slime. They don't need to, Henry. They produce the slime from their bodies. Mm, like I said, gross. For some animals, slime can be very useful. Not in my garden. I'm sure I have something to get rid of these slimy animals. Henry, are you okay? No. Looks like you've still got a lot of cleaning up to do. It's those snails leaving slime everywhere. But I have just the thing. My patented super vacuum snail sucker! Huh? 
If it works, of course, I'd say it needs lubricating. Excuse me? It means making something slippery so it moves more easily. Like oiling an engine. Or your body. You know, a lot of animals lubricate themselves for different reasons. Some for protection, others to make them go faster. Okay! Hit it! <laughs> of course, sometimes you can have too much lubrication. Henry! Henry! It's time for your news report. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Flock to opening of new mud baths. And Osprey put flights on hold due to bad weather. But now, our top story. More later. But first, here now the sports. Fantasyland one, lizards zero. Rats. Given up cleaning the garden, Henry? I'm taking a break to wash that disgusting slime off my feet. Excuse me, I think you'll find that's my bath. At least they're not more slimy animals. Ever heard the saying, water off a duck's back? Yes. Well, even ducks use a kind of slime for protection. They spread a natural oil over their feathers to make them waterproof, so they don't get cold. I was running a warm bath. Even so, without their oily coat, the duck's feathers would get so heavy with water, they might sink. Maybe being slimy isn't so bad after all. I mean, if it can help ducks float... And again. Don't tell me you're still trying to catch a few little snails, Henry. I've invented a revolutionary new trap. The old bucket on the door trick, huh? Ah, but this trap uses slime. Actually, quite a few animals use slime to make traps. Oh, yeah? Bet they don't use a bucket, though, huh? Guess why not? Have a little faith. Sheesh. Oh, I have faith. Faith in your ability to mess things up all the time. Huh? You'll see. Here, Snaily Snaillies. Henry's got some lettuce for you. And... Splat! Huh? And we all know what happens next, don't we? That's not right. When they push the door, it should have... Huh? <laughs> That's what I love about you, Henry. Anything you can mess up, you will mess up. Oh, great! Another sticky mess! <laughs> Good try. But next time you need a slimy trap. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards! The winners of my all-time best amazing slimy animal are... Finally managing to enjoy your garden, huh, Henry? Yep. I decided not to let all that slime get to me. Buzz off, Beagle Breath. You can't have any. Do any animals not have slime? It's saliva, actually. And he uses it to eat with, as you can see. Stop drooling! Go away, why don't you? Oh, all right. How can I resist those puppy dog eyes? Mm. Hey! You dripped on my half! <laughs> Don't blame him, Henry. Uh, what's in the jars, Henry? It's all slime. Henry, why do you have jars of slime? I've been collecting. This is snail slime. This one's dog slobber. This one's spider stew. And this one... Yes, uh, thank you, Henry. I think I get the idea. But you know why? 
I finally realized that slime is actually really useful. Everything in nature has a purpose, even dog spit. Dare I ask what's in the big jar? No, it's just... Oh, hold on. I think I'm going to... There, that's what's in the big jar. Where are you going? Um, I have to go to the... Uh, um, uh, ooh. Ha! So you can be grossed out by amazing slimy animals after all. This is bad. This is very bad. What's the matter, Henry? Disaster! I'm out of chocolate! Wow, what a catastrophe. I think you've probably had enough already. You can never have enough chocolate. There's got to be more around here somewhere. You won't find any in there, although they do come from the same place that chocolate comes from. Where? The factory? No, chocolate comes from a plant in the rainforest. Well... What are we waiting for? Oh, oh. Hey! Henry, where are you? Over here! Take me to your chocolate! That python can't help you, Henry. You're at the very top of the trees. The chocolate is way down below you. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. Maybe I'll stay here a while. There may not be any chocolate, but there are a lot of other interesting things in the rainforest canopy. Can I eat them? Mm, not really. Mm, then they're not interesting. Don't be so sure. The rain and the warmth mean that there are more plants and animals in the rainforest canopy than you could ever imagine. It's um, a long way down, isn't it? How are you going to get to the forest floor? You're more than ten stories up. Exactly what I do in the building. Take the elevator. Oh, that isn't an elevator, Henry. Who cares? Place your bets. Whee! Going down, home furnishings and... Lemur? Whoa! Hmm, curiouser and curiouser. Wonder who lives out there. Okay, going down. Where am I? On the forest floor. Are you okay? I'm where the chocolate is, right? Right. Then I'm okay. Whoa. Was I really all the way up there? <laughs> Henry. Henry, it's time for your news report. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way. Journal Lizard coming through. Identical designer hat embarrassment at Moose Party. And bubblegum chewing competition. Giraffe wins by a neck. But now, our top story. I think they bought it? You couldn't even give it away, Henry. Rats. Dr. Henry, I presume. Dr. Henry, treasure hunter. If you find any treasure in this temple, it's probably Mayan. Not if I get there first. Not mine, Henry, Mayan. Ancient Central American people called Mayans discovered chocolate. It was so valuable to them, they even used it as money. Smart people. Very smart. I'd be careful where you step if I were you. Why? Uh, oh. Snakes. I hate snakes. Oh. Oh. It looks like solid gold. Cool. Say, 
This isn't gold. Oh, yuck! What is it, Henry? A two thousand year old Easter egg. I've got it. I've got the treasure. Let me see. Is it diamonds, rubies, gold? No, it's a chocolate plant. Ah. Excuse me, but what happened to the rest of the plants and the animals? They've all gone. The forest has burned down, Henry. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best amazing rainforest animal are. Well, goodbye, little plant. You're leaving it behind after all you went through to find it. <sighs> yes, I figured the best place for rainforest animals and plants is in the rainforest. That's very responsible of you, Henry. Mm, it's for the best. Some things are more important than stuff in your face, you know. Henry, you amaze me, and you're doing a great job saving the amazing rainforest animals. What are you doing, Henry? Well, it ain't the laundry, that's for sure. It's a circus coming to town, and I'm going to try out for it. You're not an acrobat. Them too. Henry, animal acrobats have grace, skill, and style. Oops. I hope you can pay for that. Excuse me. On our budget? Now I'll have to join the circus. Goodbye, faithful friend Tuesday. It was great knowing you, but now I must run away. Or stagger away. Are you sure you can carry all those clothes, Henry? Those aren't clothes. That's my emergency pizza supply. I should have known. Wow, I'm starving. Okay, so which way to the dining car? Henry, you're traveling freight, not first class. So no buffet either? Nope. Well, there must be something to eat in all this. It's nice to see such dedication to learning some acrobatic tricks. Hey, a lizard in training has to eat, you know. Whoa. Uh. Ah. Ah. Must go faster. You'll never catch the train on that. I have to. Henry, there are other ways of getting to the circus. Circus schmuckus, there's pizza still on the train. Phew, that was close. Henry, Henry, it's time for your news report. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way, journal lizard coming through. Wrestling to be Olympic event and millipede in training for hundred leg race. Him. But now our top story. And next, the weather. The weather? The weather I got it right, or whether I got it wrong. A bit of both, Henry. Really? Hey, Henry, you're really good at that balancing act. Of course. I work with you, don't I? Whoa! Hey, careful there, guys. Uh. Careful. It looks high. Those people down there look like ants. Whoa! Whoa! They are ants. I'm smarter than you think. Oh, Henry. You haven't got to the circus yet, then. No, but I'm on my way. 
Quick on a direct flight. And cheap, too. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners for the all-time best amazing animal acrobat are... Time. Less preening, people, please. Giving up on the acrobatics at last, huh? No, I'm going for a group display. I see. Sharing your amazing talent with others. Are you questioning my crea uh, corn uh, choreography? My acrobatic skills again? Okay, from the top. Display. There must be something ducks are good at. Like what? Bottom feeding? I can't see it on the posters somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you finally made it to the circus then, huh, Henry? Did they find something you could do? Uh. <laughs> How appropriate, a clown. Well, at least it is a circus act. I know. But it's not exactly acrobatics, is it? Do that? What do you say? Mm, it's a message from the ringmaster. I'm being fired. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> Hang on. Don't you mean you were fired? No. I mean I'm being fired. <laughs> Look on the bright side, Henry. You're finally an amazing animal acrobat. Henry's log. After months of exploring the deepest reaches of space, our heroic captain is heading home in his trusty ship. Uh, Henry, who are you talking to? Ah, greetings, fellow Earthling. I, the great Captain Henry, have gone where no lizard has gone before. Wow, into outer space? That must have been real exciting. Actually, no. No one else had gone there before either. I didn't meet one strange new life form. So now I'm going home. Stand by for re-entry. Hey, what's with all the blue stuff? That's not home. Uh, that would be the ocean? I must have got my calculations wrong. You never were very good at math. Uh-oh, green alert. We're headed for the water. Better make that underwater, Henry. You're sinking. Whoa! Looks like you're having trouble there, Henry. I'll never get home if I can't get this tub under control. How are you going to travel down here? Traveling underwater requires a special skill. I do have a license, you know. Set a course for home! Don't you think some underwater driving lessons would help first? Nah. What do I... <laughs> Henry! Henry! It's time for your news report! What? Now? Yes, now! Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight! Birds still sneezing after hay fever season. And... Cheeky Monkey tells Press, no comment. Our top story. You think they bought it? You couldn't even give it away, Henry. Rats. Oh, 
our dashing hero speeds through his new underwater world, searching for the way home. He is prepared for anything. His trusty ship is armed with the latest anti-sea creature weapons. A shark repelling foam blaster. An octopus ink jet spray. And of course, the world's biggest water cannon. Nothing will stand in the way of our invisi... fizzy... Invincible. Thanks. Invincible hero. My hero. Uh, excuse me. Hello? Where are you going, Henry? This doesn't look like the way home to me. I... I'm not sure. It's very deep here. Excuse me? But what is that? Looks like you found a shipwreck. I must be hearing things. Nothing could be living in there. You'd be surprised, Henry. Hundreds or even thousands of underwater creatures make their homes in wrecks and caves. Hey, it's my old friend, Crab Tuesday. Where are you going? I think you found Crab Tuesday's home, Henry. This is where his whole family lives. Yeah? Cool. They live in a shipwreck. What's the matter? Oh, you're feeling homesick, aren't you? Yeah, I miss my mom, and my toys, and my pizza! I know what you mean, Henry. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards! The winners of my all-time best amazing underwater animal are... This country, Henryland, and hereby claim it for lizards everywhere. What are you doing, Henry? I'm founding a new colony right here in the ocean. A home of the brave, land of the free. Land of the completely inhabited. What do you mean? I thought you said the ocean was barely explored. By humans, sure. But other land animals have been in the ocean for millions of years. What? You mean... I don't get to be king or president or anything? I'm afraid not, Henry. So where are these land animals anyway, huh? Are you okay? His long journey ended. Our amazing hero returns home, triumphant. I'm impressed, Henry. You overcame alien sea creatures, deadly water currents, mysterious shipwrecks, and now you're home at last. Uh, oh, yeah, it was nothing. Uh, Henry? Yeah? Do you mean... Uh, don't tell me. What? You're amazing! Mm, thanks, but I'd rather leave the oceans to those real amazing underwater animals. <laughs> ah, this is the life. Peace and solitude. Getting away from it all. Traveling light. Nothing but the essentials. No animals, no neighbors, nothing to spoil the peace and quiet. Ah, and plenty of fresh air. Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. Say, Henry, you don't really want to get away from everything, do you? I did, yeah. Won't you miss living around all your amazing animal friends, enjoying their company? What do I need them for? I'm so sorry. So fish Self-sufficient? I can stand on my own four feet. Everybody needs good neighbors, Henry. Just look around you. Animals everywhere have to share their homes with other animals. <laughs> ah, this is the life. No animals to bother me. <sighs> Sleep tight, Henry. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Bugs? What bugs? It's just an expression. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Oh, oh, oh.
I wish my neighbors would leave me alone. La, 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 la. <laughs> admiring the view, Henry? No, I'm admiring someone's handiwork. Check out this hole. There was someone on the roof last night. Who could have done that kind of damage, I wonder? Who, indeed? That's what I said. Who? Huh? I think it came from that tree, Henry. Oh, yeah? Well, now we'll see what kind of good neighbor would do this. Okay, come on out, you... 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 Don't be scared, Henry. That owl's a friendly neighbor. It's not the owl I'm scared of. It's the ground. Are you okay? Um, fine. The ground broke my fall. Go on. Shoo. Shoo. They're just hedgehogs. They're trying to be friendly. Well, I think they're a pain in the... Henry! Why couldn't I land on something soft, like them? Can a lizard get a bit of neighborhood support around here? Support works both ways, Henry. Henry! Henry! It's time for your news report. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, Buffalo's nose on the run after hanky shortage. And never play with super glue. Jorge learns the hard way. But now, our top story. Think they bought it? You couldn't even give it away, Henry. Rats. Come on, Henry. It's time you... <laughs> what a great idea. Now I'll catch that culprit. What are you doing now, Henry? Identifying the villain. He was uh, kind of big and had a long tail and a mask. Are you sure it wasn't the Lone Ranger? Smart guy. Hmm, right tail, wrong face. Hmm, right face, wrong tail. Ah, right color. Could be. Except that penguins aren't known for their climbing skills. Okay, okay. So how am I supposed to find out who it was? Have you tried meeting your neighbors, getting to know them a bit better? <clears throat> I thought so. Part and now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award. The winners of my all-time best Amazing Animal Neighbor are... Green Leader to Big Ears. Come in, Big Ears. What are you doing now, Henry? Shh! We're watching the neighborhood. Come in, Big Ears. Green Leader to Big Ears. Come in, Big Ears. Come in, Big Ears. Green Leader to Lookout One. Do you read? Green Leader to Lookout One. Do you read? I don't think this is what they mean by neighborhood watch somehow. Shh! What's that noise? I know that tail! Go, go, go! Caught ya, Red Pod! The criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. They're no criminals, Henry. Those are raccoons. That's no excuse for messing up my attic. Raccoons often nest in the roofs of houses. They're your neighbors. Treat them with respect. Oh! If I knew anyone lived upstairs, I would have invited them for dinner. Nice to meet you. Hmm. You're not still worried about burglars, are you, Henry? No. I'm making a raccoon flap. There's no need to be sarcastic. 
But I am. Okay, fella. It's all yours now. <laughs> Sorry, Henry. I guess you've learned to get along with your new neighbors, huh? Sure have. I came here to get away from animals, but made a whole bunch of new friends. So will you be staying? It's a nice place to visit, but they don't get cable in the woods. After all, there's no place like home. Hi, Henry. <laughs> Looks like you're having fun. Hey, can't talk now. Rides to ride. Things to eat. Woo! Hey, woo! Wow! The great genie knows all. so long. Sorry to interrupt your fun, little guy. Hey, what are you calling little? But we have a show to do here. Not until I've gone on the super whirly quintuple loopy loopster. I can't wait. Rats. They won't let you on the ride? How come? Because I'm too small. That's why. Ah, uh, never mind. You got to go on all the other rides. But I want to go on this one. I wish I was bigger. I know. Henry. Just call me Lizardus Giganticus. You'll never get away with it. Oh, no? Watch me. Henry, speak to me. Are you okay? Uh, I don't I don't know. It's all right, Mom. I won't be late for school. Henry! Whoa! Is the world getting bigger? Or is it me? It's definitely not you. That's a giant's castle. This can mean only one thing. Beanstalks? Magic? fee fi fo fum No! Giant food! Wow! Check out that egg! The duck who laid that must be eno- Nah. That would be ridiculous. If it's giant food you're after, you'll have to get past that guard dog first. What? That big softy? <laughs> You really have to watch out for these giant animals. All right, giant snack time. Only one problem, Henry. Yeah? The giant's still eating the uh, pizza. Uh, 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 ah! Run away, run away, run away. Maybe sharing lunch with a giant wasn't such a great idea after all. Henry, Henry, it's time for your news report. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, Koi Boo promises to clean up its act. And elephants inspire other animals to eat grit. But now, our top story. You think they bought it? You couldn't even give it away, Henry. Hmm, rats. Animals don't have... The people ran terrified as Henry Zilla crushed the city under his feet. Could no one stop this? Terrible monster! Only Dukra, fabled defender of the city, could save the day! The people watched in helpless horror as the two giants battled!
Battle for Supremacy! <laughs> Ow! What's the matter, Henry Zilla? I stepped on a phone booth. Mommy! And so Peace returned to the city as the terrifying Henry Zilla stomped home to his mom for a band-aid. Darn giant monsters! Who needs them? Lots of people, Henry. Having fun on that ride, Henry? Ride, my Only I, the great Henry, can save us all from Duckra. I'll show him he's not in Brian Vernum. Invulnerable? I'll show him! But Henry! I thought Dakra was the defender of the city! A good guy! That's what he says! But I know different! Thank goodness, you're all right. Even better. I found out why Duckra was making all that fuss. He's a she, and she has babies. I told you she was a gentle giant, but would you listen? Hey, you can't take any chances when you might get stepped on by a ten-story feather duster. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Awards. And the winners of my all-time best amazing animal giant are... At last! Now my wish will be granted! <laughs> Still wishing you could be bigger, huh, Henry? Yes, and you can't stop me. Great genie! Funny how much he looks like your friend Crab Tuesday. Oh, great genie! Grant me my wish and make me a giant among lizards! Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh, some genie. I don't look any different. There's a printer right there. But you are a giant among lizards. Next to those tiny guys, you look enormous, Henry. Say, you're right. After all, size is relative. Yeah. Hey, cousin, how's it going? Not that relative, Henry. Oh. There's no place like home. No Henry? Place like home. Henry? Henry, are you okay? Huh? What? What happened? You knocked yourself out trying to be bigger. I did? Ah, giants! They're not giants, Henry. You must have been dreaming. But there was a giant pizza and, and a puppy so big you could... Oh, and this duck! She was huge! And that pizza! It all seemed real. Well, animal giants can be pretty amazing. They're not the only ones. Being big is all about how you feel. I don't have to be as tall as these guys. What a great attitude, Henry. And so modest. Besides, I'm a giant in my own field. After all, how many other world-famous lizards do you know? Henry, what are you doing under there? Ah, it's the oldie narrator. Well, I'm trying to put this tent up. <laughs> this I gotta see. Okay, that should do it. And I got all those poles left over. I don't think you're supposed to, Henry. But anyway, what's with all the ye oldie stuff? Glad you asked, Varlet. I, the brave Sir Henry, am hunting dragons for sooth. Aha! <laughs> 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 
excuse of me? Yeah, excuse it. Somewhere around here is a rare species of dragon, Scariest Giganticus, and I'm going to find it. Ooh, it makes my skin crawl just thinking about it. Don't move, Henry. There's something behind you. What is it? The dragon? What's it doing? Get it off! Get it off! Ah! Ow! What happened there? Brave Sir Henry got frightened by an invertebrate. A what? Invertebrate. Creepy crawlies. Animals who have no backbone. Like your tent. So that's what those extra poles were for. The brave knight, Sir Henry, pursues the dreadful dragon through fearsome forests and monstrous mountains, crossing venomous valleys and... Raging rivers, right? An ant could cross that, no problem. But I'm only little. I'll get my feet wet. All right, brave knight. Why don't you take the easy option and use the... No, no. Verily, thou art making fun of I. I shall find the safe way of transporting my cell hmm. 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 But Henry, why don't you just take the... Ah! Hmm. I've got it! Oh, good grief. For the last time, I told you you could just use the... Ah! Bridge. I know. I could use the bridge. What is it? It's like a little house with poles. But that's not important right now. Looks like you got moths, Henry. Moth schmoths! This be the work of ye fire-breathing dragon! Moths can be pretty damaging, and there are lots of other creepy crawlies that bite and sting. There's hornets uh -huh. and spiders and oh. scorpions and bumblebees, and some so small you can barely see them, like fleas. And mosquitoes. Ow! See? Safe at last. Don't speak too soon, Henry. Oh no! Ow! 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 Get out! Ow! Every animal Ow! has to eat, Henry. And it's Ow! not just mosquitoes. Henry! <laughs> Henry! It's time for your news report. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Business, the crack market fell sharply. And koala climbs to. Hey, who hit rewind? But now, our top story. And next, the weather. The weather? The weather I got it right, or whether I got it wrong. Take a guess. Rats. What's the matter, Henry? Can't get to sleep? What? I said, what's the... What? Ah, I can't hear you. I can't sleep with all these crawly creeps making a racket. Ow! Of course you realize this means war. You can't win, Henry. Try turning the light off. Nocturnal or nighttime insects are attracted to light. I'll try anything. <laughs> That's better. Time for some shut-eye. Ah... Uh... At least now I've got nothing to attract those infernal nocturnal bugs. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award. The winners of my all-time best creepy crawly animal are... At last, 
brave Sir Henry has c- c- captured the d- dragon, caught off guard sleeping in his lair. The dragon's lair? Wow, you are being brave, Henry. Are you sure you've got everything under control? Oh, yeah. Well, just in case, I made this. The ultimate dragon trap. Even an invincible dragon couldn't get through this. No, but an invincible insect might. Insect? Look, I'm hunting dragons here, and you're still on about itty-bitty creepy crawlies. What can they do against my magnificent trap? What? Now that's what I call invincible. Those termites sure know how to eat through wood. But, 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 but now the, 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 the dragon can escape. Oh, now the dragon can get out! Look, it's got huge eyes and wings and... But Henry, it's only... And fire-breathing nostrils! <laughs> it's not a dragon. It's a dragon fly. Huh? But... But, what, no scariest Giganticus? No invincible dragon? No, Henry. But dragonflies belong to a group of animals that have been around for millions of years. In their own way, they are just as invincible as dragons. And such a cute little thing. Who'd have thought? Dragonflies. Ah, time to go home sweet home. And where there's not a creepy crawly in sight. That's what you think, Henry. No way! No uninvited invertebrates at my house! Buzz off, Puff! You can't win against invertebrates, Henry. You should know that by now. They're everywhere, every how, and always have been. You can't fight them. That doesn't mean I have to like them. Shoo! Face it, Henry. There's nowhere you can go that amazing creepy crawlies can't follow. At least I found out there are no real dragons around here. That's some comfort, I suppose. Having a day in the countryside, Henry? I'm going to my uncle's farm for a whole week. He wants me to look after his farm animals while he's away. Ooh, a big zebra with horns! Henry, that's a cow. How can you look after farm animals when you can't even recognize one? Excuse me. I know a farm animal when I see one. Hey, these must be the animals you get cotton candy from. (laughs) You wish, Henry. They're sheep and they're wearing wool coats, not cotton candy. Hmm, so out of season. I'd get your money back on those coats, guys. They didn't buy them. It's their own fur. Yeah, sure. You can't pull the wool over my eyes. Whoops. So, I finally arrived. Boy, am I looking forward to a quiet break. It's the chickens, Henry. It must be feeding time. Great. What are we having? Henry, you've got a lot to learn about being a farmer. I know. I have to find someone to teach me the banjo. Still think you're on your vacation, Henry? I'm keeping a close eye on the cows. And catching some rays at the same time. What the? Hey, get out of my sun! Oh, so you want to play, huh? Okay. Fetch! Henry, it's not a dog. Duh, I know that. But the cow doesn't seem to. Henry, cows aren't pets. They're not? What's the point in keeping a cow if you can't play with it? Okay, team, listen up. You block, you go long, and you get me some ice cream. 52, 49, 99, hop, hop. Hey, they're not hopping. Come on, guys, it's easy. I really don't think they want to play, Henry. Yes, they do. They just need a bit of encouragement. Okay, let's go, guys. (laughs) Nice save, cow. Bull, Henry.
But it was a nice save. <coughs> this is bad, isn't it? <coughs> okay, you sheep. Make your way to the gate. Single file, please. Hey, you! No butting in! What are you doing, Henry? Shh! Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? So I see. You're trying to herd the sheep, huh? I don't think they herd anything. No, herding sheep. What farmers do to move sheep from one place to another. But they get help from a sheep dog. A dog? Yes, sheep are afraid of dogs. So a trained sheep dog can easily herd sheep with instructions from the farmer. <sighs> I know! Hey, that's no sheep dog. No, he's my sheep crab. Left a bit, right, no, no left, ah, right. Oh, duh. Use your claws. Go, go, go. Yeah, go, Tuesday. Nice work. Right. Get him. Yay. Not bad, huh? Um, except... Except what? Isn't it the sheep who are supposed to be in the pen? Huh? Oh, no. Tuesday! I guess that's farming lesson number two, Henry. Henry! Henry, it's time for your report on unusual farm animals. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal lizard coming through! Leopard spotted sleeping on the job. And tent making bats, an undercover report. <laughs> but now, our top story. You think they bought it? You couldn't even give it away, Henry. Rats. Although, there may be a tiny bit of truth bear- <laughs> Given up on farming animals, Henry? Yeah, vegetables are much easier to look after. If I could just get- Ooh, this carrot must be huge! I don't think so, Henry. It looks like somebody's trying to steal it. Uh, let go, you carrot napper! They're mine! Ah! Hey, I found my carrot! Ooh, and a cute bunny rabbit. Did you see who tried to take it? Uh, Henry, I think you've found your thief. What do you mean? No way! Not the rabbit! You may think that he's cute, but to most farmers, he's a pest. Hmm, I know all about pests. Okay, no pesky pests are getting any of my corn! Oh no? Ah! And just how are you going to stop them? With this! The ultimate scarecrow! The Verminator! Wow, looks pretty scary. It even sounds scary. Listen. Wow, it dries your laundry. But it hasn't scared that crow off. I ain't finished yet. So now the crow can see the corn better. Not for long. Watch this. See? I told you it would work. Well, Henry, that's one way to stop pests eating crops. Get rid of the crops. <coughs> Maybe it needs a few modifications. Maybe what you need, Henry, is a big goose. Excuse me? And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best amazing farm animal are...
What? What? Time to get up, Henry. There's work to do. Oh, work? What work? I did it yesterday. And today you have to do it all over again. That's how it is with farms, Henry. Oh, no. Is there no rest for the lizard? <laughs> Easy for you to say. All you have to do is make a noise. You don't even have to get your own breakfast. Don't be such a grouch, Henry. Without farm animals producing eggs, milk, and bacon, not to mention the cereals grown on farms, you wouldn't have any breakfast. Mm, maybe I'll just stick to juice. Even the fruit for juice is grown on farms, Henry. Rats! I'm sorry, Henry. You gotta work hard when you're looking after amazing farm animals. Come on, Tuesday. Wait till I see my uncle. Boy, am I gonna tell him a thing or two about what I... Henry! Henry! What are you doing? I'm trying to look my best. That makes a change. What do you mean, a change? I mean, you don't normally worry about your appearance. Today's different. I'm, I'm gonna be in a movie. <laughs> what, a horror movie? It's a Dad Dodo Coco... Documentary? It's about me. Now let me finish. Up, 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 down, 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 in, 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 out, 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 out. Oh no! Disaster! What happened? My tooth! It fell out! Everyone has to lose their first tooth someday, Henry. Even movie stars. But that one was my favorite! How can I go on camera like this? Changes like this happen to animals all the time. You'll grow a new one. But I want my old one back. This calls for drastic action. Don't bunny old tooth. I'm coming to get you. No, Henry, don't do it. Having fun, Henry? You bet! I haven't had this much fun since I went to Splashland when I was little. Woohoo! That's what worries me. What do you mean? You're not as little as you used to be, Henry. You don't want to get stuck, do you? Me? I'm slippery as a snake. And quick as a... Cork in a bottle? Uh-oh! I warned you, Henry. You've grown. <laughs> This is terrible. At least there's one good thing. What? You won't be stuck for long. Whoa! Smart guy. Now I'll never get my tooth back. Why, oh why do I have to grow up? It seemed like only a minute or two. My tooth may have gone, but I'll never give up the search. No matter how long it takes. Since when did you learn patience? The nights are closing in, and soon winter will be upon us. I said winter will soon be upon us. When did you last check the weather forecast, Henry? Smart guy. I will find you, my tooth. After all, tomorrow's just another day. Oh, I will search till the first rays of spring sun. I said, oh, boy, rats. Overdone it with the special effects, huh, Henry? Well, you didn't really think I'd wait that long to find my tooth, did you? If you had waited, your tooth would have grown back before you got to the end of summer. Really? That's amazing! Animals have to change with the seasons throughout the year without being able to cheat. Henry? Henry, it's time for your news report. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, monkey begs for softer bed. And 
and Armadillo can't find his pillow. But now, our top story! And next, the weather. The weather? The weather I got it right, or whether I got it wrong. Take a guess. Rats. Okay, nearly ready. Finally making your movie without your tooth, huh, Henry? Nope. Preparing for my role. Revisiting my past screen triumphs. Watching some old home movies, in other words. Ahem. Lights. Camera. Action. Wow, you've really changed a lot since then. He's not the only one. Yeah, look at me. I was a teensy weensy little itty bitty baby Henry. Oh yeah, you sure were different Henry. You had no teeth, you made a lot of noise, you didn't let anyone play with your toys, and you were so well behaved. Excuse me. Uh, on the other hand, maybe you haven't changed that much after all. You'll see when my movie's a box office smash. I hope you're right. Hi there, cousin. If he can be a quick change artist, then so can I. I don't need to wait for a new tooth. I can have one right now. Charming. Charming. Hey, can you see that? That was amazing. Oops. Back to the drawing board, Henry. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best amazing animal changes are... Still worried about your old tooth, Henry? Not really. I've got a new one growing in now. So what's the mirror for? I have to make sure I look my best for my new movie. Okay, I'm ready for my close-up now. And this time, I don't want anybody doing anything silly and embarrassing me. Uh, on the other hand, you do a great job all by yourself. <laughs> okay, ready when you are. Lights! Camera! Action! Hello. My name is Henry. You may remember me from such movies as Henry, The Baby Years, and The Mystery of the Missing Tooth. Allow me to tell you about my life. A life of changes, adventure, and excitement. Get out of my way! Hey! Stop that! Get out of my movie! Don't! I guess with some animals, Henry, some things never change. Uh, over here, Mac! Watch it! Go left! No, right! Hold it! <laughs> Rats! We'll never get this museum to open on time! Hey, hey, excuse me, ladies and uh, gentle ducks. We're not open for another 20 minutes. Who let you guys in? Hi, Henry. The museum's looking great. Oh, it was you. I should have known. Sorry, we just couldn't wait to see your new museum. So, what's it all about? It's called the Natural Henry Museum. And it's all about the most amazing, handsomest animal in the whole world. Which is? Me. Don't you think this is all a little egotistical, Henry? Egotistical? I don't even know the meaning of the word. It means you have a big head. Hmm. I just want to make sure that all the little lizards still to come, even a million years from now, will get the chance to know all about me. What kind of car I drove. Vroom, vroom. What I like to wear. Which is my best side. And what I ate. 
You know, you're not the first animal to leave a record for future generations. Many extinct animals have done just that. Stinky animals? Extinct animals. Species that aren't alive anymore, when there are none left, all gone. Then how do you know about them, smart guy? Countless thousands of animals aren't around anymore, but many of them have relatives that are. They're a living record of species long extinct. Okay, for the concrete! Henry, don't walk there. The cement's not dry yet. I'm doing it on purpose. All the big stars do. I'm leaving my footprints for my admirers. Once they dry, they'll last forever. Uh, how long are you supposed to stay in there? Oh, just a second or two. Uh, oh, oh, ah. Uh, I no. knew it. Oh, no. It's dry. I'm stuck. Get me out of here. Hey, stop it! Oh no! Careful! Let me down! Henry, are you all right? My roof, my museum, and my footprints! Cheer up, Henry. You know, millions of years ago, there were some really famous lizards who left their footprints behind, too. We need a new roof built. Bring in the elephants. Call the beavers. But whatever you do, Tuesday, stay out of the art gallery. You've done enough damage. You've got an art gallery, too? Oh, yeah. Is this it? Welcome to my collection of reptilian masterpieces. First, we have the Mona Henry, painted by Leonardo the Lizard. Isn't it beautiful? Hmm. They don't paint them like that anymore. The eyes follow you around the room. Maybe you prefer something modern, like Pablo Pigeco. Don't you just love it? Love wasn't the word I had in mind. Huh? Hmm. But if you really want to see a masterpiece, you can't beat a good sculpture. This one cost me an arm and a leg. But I'll buy the arm and the leg back when I've had some paying customers. Wow, it's great, Henry. But, uh, well, isn't it a little unrealistic? I mean, you're not quite that big in real life. I know. I want little lizards in the future to think that I was big, big, big. Besides, if extinct animals can leave giant fossils behind, why can't I? Because not all of them were big either, Henry. Even the extinct relatives of some giant animals were surprisingly small. <laughs> Henry! Henry, it's time for your report on the elephant bird. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal lizard coming through! Tree frog gets frog in his throat. And giraffe discovers amazing new toothbrush bird. But now, our top story. And next, the weather. The weather? The weather I got it right, or whether I got it wrong. Take a guess. Rats. Tuesday! Where's my new roof? If you want a job done right, don't ask a crab. Lucky we're having such nice weather, or it could be disaster for your museum. Yeah, all we'd need is just a little rain and the whole place would be... Quick, Henry, cover up your exhibits before they're destroyed. I told that Pagecko guy to use watercolors, but that's ridiculous. Oh, no. Ah, this bad 
weather is wrecking everything. My museum, it's a disaster. Don't you think you're exaggerating just a little, Henry? Hey, you aren't opening a narrator museum in 10 minutes. Giraffes, check. Reindeer, check. Tortoises, check. That's a good idea, Henry. What? Having different entrances for different animals. It'll make everyone feel welcome to your museum. Yeah. Birds. Uh, hmm. I hope I didn't forget one for the... Oh. Birds. Check. Hmm. Mice. Check. Wait a minute, Henry. How do people get in the museum? Excuse me. Can't you read the sign? No people allowed. This is a museum for animals, by animals. Aw, come on, Henry. Can't you even let in little people? Mm, well, maybe little people are okay. But no grown-ups. They only mess things up. I kind of understand your feelings, Henry. People and animals don't always mix so well. Have I ever told you about the American bison? No. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award. The winners of my all-time best extinct animals are... In third place... Henry, it's time. The museum is opening in two minutes. Shouldn't you be getting ready? Just a few last-minute touches to the most important room. Which one? The gift shop! Look, I've got cool toys and yummy candies and this great toy car and, uh, loads of stuff. Honestly, Henry, I can't understand why you're so concerned about being remembered like this. Are you kidding? What if us lizards became extinct, too? Ever since the dinosaurs went, we've been pretty sensitive about that sort of thing. Okay, okay. I guess I understand your concern. Mm -hmm. But there's really no shortage of lizards at the moment. How do you know? Have you seen the line outside? Wow! I haven't seen so many lizards in all my life! See, Henry? At least some amazing animals don't have to worry about becoming extinct. Thanks for coming, everyone! Okay, kids, form a straight line. Welcome to the Henry Museum! Taking up golfing, Henry? What's your handicap? I can't hit the ball. Hey! I did it! Henry? Huh? You're lucky, Henry. That's not a ball. It's an egg. Excuse me, but eggs aren't blue. You'd be surprised. Animal eggs come in all kinds of colors, shapes, and sizes. <laughs> hmm. Look, for the last time, it's not a chocolate egg. I know, I know. Chocolate eggs are brown. Sorry. This one's blue, so it's obviously peppermint. <gasps> no, Henry. It's an animal's egg. I know. I was just joking. Oh, it's hard to tell sometimes. So what kind of bird do you think it belongs to, huh? A tawny eagle? Or a vulture? Or even a snake? A frog? Or an insect? All kinds of animals lay eggs, remember? Hmm. Aha! I've got it! I'll put out an all-animals bulletin and find its rightful mother. That's very considerate of you. Besides, then I don't have to babysit it anymore. Henry! <laughs> Say, this would make a great toy. Henry, be careful with that. It has a baby inside, remember? Yes, but you said eggs keep babies safe. 
It'll be fine. Eggs can be pretty tough, but they still need a lot of protection. Maybe you can get some help looking after it. Hmm. Darn. Mom's out of town. Say, how about you? Wouldn't you just love a nice little egg to look after? No fuss, no muss, just a bit of sitting and watching. And crushing. Huh? Some snakes eat other animals' eggs, Henry. How about you, my furry friend? All that fur would keep a little egg warm and happy. Sit. Go on. Sit. Sit. She might be a bit big to sit on it, though, don't you think? Hmm. Rats. Or hamsters. Small, yet perfectly formed for the job. Come on, come on. Up you go. Just pretend it's a big hamster wheel. Face it, Henry. You're going to have to protect this egg yourself. There. Snug as an egg in a rug. <sighs> I just don't know. What? It might be warm, but is it safe, Henry? Of course it's safe. Like my grandpappy says, if your eggs need warming, just ask a lizard. Ooh. Henry! Henry! It's time for your report on animal eggs. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal lizard coming through! Tonight, it's official. Mushroom is fun guy to be with. Taking time out to smell the flowers. But now, our top story. Stay tuned. But first, here now the sports. Fantasyland one, lizards, zero. Mm, rats. I see you've made your egg comfortable, Henry. Okay, I won't be long, kid. Just got a bit of shopping to do. Be good. Henry, you can't just leave an egg in front of the TV. You're right. You never know what they're showing these days. A parent can't be too careful. Since when did you get all parental? Besides, I was worried about it being safe by itself. Ah, oh, come on. What could happen to it? Well, it could roll off and crack on the floor. Uh, or an animal could come along and make a snack of it. Or it could drink. Uh, it could be blah, 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 blah. Henry, what? have you heard a word I've said? Of course. I heard the word snack. <laughs> Come on, kid. You're not safe by yourself. You're coming with me. We've got important things to do. Phew. That's better. When I said take the egg with you, I didn't mean everywhere. Just because it has to be safe doesn't mean it's not allowed to have fun. Oh, I give up. Ah, this is the life. A nice quiet afternoon at the beach. <sighs> Go back to sleep, kid. I'm exhausted. Hey! Get out of here! Shoo! Shoo! Go away, you... you egg bullies! <gasps> now look what you've all done! It's broken! I think it's about to hatch! Quick! Boiling water! No, no. Bad idea for an egg. Call me an ambulance! Okay, you're an amp... Smart guy! Come on, kid. We're getting out of here before any more predators try anything. Why don't you take it back where you found it, Henry? And fast. There are lots of animals in the wild that love nothing better than an egg picnic. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winner.
winners of my all-time best egg-laying animals are... Come on, kid! You can do it! Bird-watching, Henry? No! Egg-watching! Look! The kid's about to crack up! If you mean hatch, pass me the binoculars. Come on, Henry's egg! You can do it! Hey! No. Uh, 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 uh. Let me see! Say! Check out that chick! It's a khaki Campbell duckling, to be precise, Henry. I do love it when you're precise. And look! He's got a family! Ah, that's amazing. I never knew an egg could be so, so exciting. Congratulations, Henry. Don't thank me. The real credit all goes to one amazing animal egg. I am so... Excited. Any minute now, I'll be skiing over fresh snow through mounds of fluffy white flakes. The wind whistling between your ears? Hey, just because I'm a lizard doesn't mean I can't be downhill, Henry. But Henry, isn't it the wrong time of year for snow? What do you mean? This is a ski resort. Of course there's going to be snow. Well, it is summer. There must be some mistake. Okay, where is it? Who's hiding the snow? Hmm, I'm sure he'll be along any minute. Who? The snowman, to make his delivery. I'll just sit and wait. And wait. And wait. Huh. Where is that delivery man? It's getting late. I know two places where there's always snow. Where? The North Pole and the South Pole. I don't see any poles. Can you see the pole star? It's in the Little Bear constellation. Well, I can't bear waiting any longer. I'm going north. Henry, do you realize how far it is to the North Pole? Nowhere's too far when you've got a cool jetpack like mine. Blast off! Woo! Which way is north again? Follow that star, Henry! Follow that star! Are we there yet? It's morning already. In the summertime, the sun comes up very early in the Arctic Circle. I thought I was going to the North Pole. The pole is the center of the Arctic Circle. But if it's snow you're after, why not land here? No thanks. I feel really silly. Whee! I'm heading further north. Just remember, Henry, the further north you go, the colder it gets. Yes, but remember the m, m motto of every g g great explorer: be pre 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 prepared. Precisely. Wow, I'm impressed, Henry. Ah, cold weather, no problem. I'm warm as toast. And light as a rock. Look out, Henry! You're going down. Ah! Say, why the? Big paws. Those big paws belong to the polar bear. Or is that a snow check? Sheesh. <laughs> hmm, looks good. Plenty of snow. <laughs> Friendly locals. Prepare for landing. What about your skiing, Henry? It's the perfect spot. There are no rocks, no trees. And no hills. This is the Arctic ice cap. Underneath this layer of ice, do you know what you'll find? Switch off boosters. What? The Arctic Ocean. <laughs> Henry, are you all right? Oh, fine. For an icicle. <laughs> Thanks for the lift, pal. Henry! Henry, it's time for your report on the Arctic ice cap. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, jail 
Bird cries foul at miscarriage of justice. While Chimp keeps stiff upper lip. But now, our top story. And next, the weather. The weather? The weather I got it right, or whether I got it wrong. Take a guess. Rats. Huh. Rats. I'm sorry all your things got wet, Henry. Thanks. I just wish I had something defrosted to keep me warm, though. Look around you, Henry. The only thing you need to keep warm is... Snow! Okay, Husky, let's get to work. Grab those tools. Get some snow. <laughs> Bring it over here. That's it. And the only kind of glue you need in the Arctic... An igloo! Come on, come on, we need more snow. <laughs> Henry, where are you? I'm in here. Looks like your husky friend's an expert igloo builder. Only one problem. He forgot the door. <clears throat> nice work, Henry. I see you've finished your shelter. Come in, come in. It's even better inside. Wow, look at this place. There's only one thing wrong with it. What? Oh, it's still cold. <laughs> Sorry, Pooch. An Arctic dog's place is outside. <laughs> Haven't you forgotten something, Henry? Yes, but they don't get cable at the North Pole. I mean that another animal's body warmth can help you survive in cold temperatures. Oh. Right this way, my canine chum. Now that's better. I knew mammals would come in handy one day. <laughs> it's not just mammals, Henry. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best amazing polar animal are... Had enough of polar living, Henry? It was fun, but I was starting to feel like a frozen green bean. So why the harness? I want to take one of those icebergs home for a souvenir. Then I can have snow anytime I want to. An iceberg, huh? Don't you think it's a bit big to carry? Excuse me? Well, that's just the tip. 90% of an iceberg is hidden underwater. Oh, I have a very strong husky, you know. Come on, mush, mush. Hey, he's not mushing. Careful, Henry. What if the straps... Break! Come back! Oh, no! I'm stranded! Uh-oh, Henry. It looks like you just can't get away from those amazing polar animals. Help! Three letters starts with C. Has long whiskers and a tail. Hmm. Haven't got a clue. Have you? No. Who do they think I am? Albert Ein's lizard? No. What's on TV? Oh, goody. Welcome back to Brainy Island, where our contestants are still trying to cross that crocodile pit. <laughs> Ooh, I wouldn't go on that show in a million years. They've made it! The treasure is theirs! Treasure? On second thoughts, maybe I would. If you think you've got the brain power to come on Brainy Island, then pick up a pen and write in now. A pen! I need a pen! I said pen, not carrot. Hey, I thought I recognized that voice. That's right, Henry. I'm the new host on Brainy Island. Moonlighting, huh? 
Aren't we paying you enough? Are you kidding? Ahem. Uh, so can I go on Brainy Island? Please? Do you think you're clever enough? Just look up clever in the dictionary. What do you find? That's the entry for confused, Henry. Oh, so what is cleverness anyway? That's a tricky question, because a lot of the trickiest things you find animals doing are instinctive. I don't hear any drums. And Henry the Lizard. Oh! Easy. Even a chicken could do that one. Let me try. Good. Uh, Mr. Lizard? Henry. Henry! What is it? The boat left without you. Oh, no! And here's me without my swimsuit. It's your own fault for trying to be too clever. Ah! This is Brainy Island. Find a key and win valuable points. Ooh, I love it! Did everyone make it? Everyone except the chicken. What happened? She chickened out. Figures. So what's our next challenge? Uh-oh, contestants, you've just wandered into level two, the Wall of Wonder. Your challenge is to get to the other side using only your brain power and the things you find around you. All right, listen up. I'm going to use these springs and bounce myself right over the top of this wall. Wally, you take the shovel and pail and dig your way under it. And Loki, uh, you sit right there on the doormat and we'll let you in when we get to the other side. Okay, Wally, start digging. Hold on, Loki. We'll be there before you can say leaping lizards. Aren't you forgetting the doormat, Henry? No time for that now. Here I go. Did we make it? No. But, oh, look. Henry. Henry, it's time for your report on whale song. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, water wing wrestlers make a big splash. And Chimp wets his head. But now, our top story. You think they bought it? You couldn't even give it away, Henry. Rats. But for once, it wasn't all. So far, so good. But have you got the teamwork skills to conquer our next stage? Of course I have. These guys, I'm not so sure of. Problem. I could do that with my eyes closed. Now, now, Henry, there's no I in teamwork. You have to work together. Of course. You guys work down here cheering for me. Got it? I've always been a very well-balanced lizard. Oops. Just a slight adjustment. Whoa! I told you, this job calls for teamwork. That's what I keep trying to tell them. Get up here, team! <laughs> Hmm, not quite. Teamwork, shmeam work. I've had it with you two. Careful, Henry. Whoa! Don't worry, Wally. You won't fall. Oops. Sorry. And now comes the tricky part. Huh? Loki! What are you doing? I don't want to fall too. You did it, Loki! You figured it out! Really? All thanks to my clever coaching, of course. <laughs> of course. And I suppose you'll be telling me you taught these otters all their teamwork skills, too. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Awards. 
the winners of my all-time best amazing clever animal are... Ahoy there, contestants! Are you ready to face the Wheel of Mystery? This looks tricky, Loki. You'd better leave this up to my superior intellect. They don't call it amazing animals for nothing. Whoop! Hey! Oh! Oh! You get it, Loki! Hey, flying's not allowed. You should have thought of that before you let a raven on the show. You found the treasure! Send it down! Now, what could be in here? You never know what you'll find in the box of mystery. It could be precious, or just a load of old junk. Yeah, but I can't find the ingredients list anywhere on this box. Now, challengers, you have the box, but can you break Brainy Island's secret code? For a couple of clever guys like us, no problem. Right, Loki? <coughs> See what I mean? You just type in your age, times your weight in golf balls, minus the speed of sound, plus 12, and presto! Henry, how'd you get it so quickly? My mom has a lock like this on our cookie jar. <coughs> oh, what's inside? With 950 million points, your prize is... Donuts! Filled with... Birdseed? Yuck! Someone's happy. If Loki likes it, it must be brain food. Maybe I'll eat it after all. Then I can be an amazing, clever animal, too. And that's the end of our show. Say goodnight, Loki. Hey, how come he gets to say goodnight? I'm the star of the show. Me, Henry. I'm the... Hey! Is anyone listening to me? I don't know. Mad Hatter. Cakes that make you shrink. Who writes this stuff? What you reading, Henry? It's about a girl who has an underground adventure. No way this is real. That book's a classic. Classic nonsense. I mean, really. Follow a rabbit down a hole and you know what you really get? What? Dirty knees. Are you sure about that? Positive. Well, here's your big chance to find out. Oh, hey, sorry, Mr. Rabbit. I didn't see you there. Looks like he's late. He's late for a very important date. Very funny. There'd he go. Underground, Henry. That's me, all right. Follow that rabbit. Ah. Whoa! Hey, Henry. You still think that book's so far-fetched? You just look at this place. Third floor, low ceilings. And this living underland is sure no wonderland. It can't be that bad, Henry. A lot of animals make their homes underground. Now stand back and watch. So, what happened to that white rabbit, Henry? Who knows? I'll probably never see him again. Hey! The white rabbit! Wait! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he must have gone through one of these. Yes, Henry. But was it door number one, door number two, or door number three? Uh, door number one. Let's see. What's that? A mouse. Door, mouse. Door, mouse. Door, mouse. Just like in my book. Please. Excuse me, miss. Did you see a rabbit go by? Huh? Huh? What did she say? I couldn't hear. She's as quiet as a mouse. How about door number two? Whoops. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, she ought to use that do not disturb sign. So it must be door number three. Oh, so how am I supposed to get through there? Can I suggest digging? It's how other underground animals get around. Digging? Oh, I'd love to, but I forgot my shovel. Silly me. 
Yeah, don't worry, Henry. That never slows down the experts. Oh. oh. Where are these experts when you need them? Oh. Right this way, Henry. All you have to do is scratch the surface, and you might find a mole. Coming through! There, that's better. What happened to digging by hand? What? You'll have to speak up. I can't see a thing. Watch where you're going, Henry. Oh, ow! Why don't you try using your head? Good idea. Oh! Wow, where am I? You're in a cave. Oh, I see, I see. What do you see? I have no idea, but if you turn your head sideways, it looks sort of like a rabbit. Those are stalactites, Henry. And what's that? A stalagmite. Cool. What's that? A white rabbit. Aha! You, come back! Oh, oh, my headlamp. If that goes out, I may never see light again. Well, Henry. Henry, it's time for your report on earthworms. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way. Journal lizard coming through. Here leaves the tap running, and stand-up comic Cobra gets a glowing review. But now our top story. More later. But first, here now the sports. Fantasyland one. Lizards? Zero. Rats. Curiouser and curiouser. There's a whole city down here. With its own mega apartment buildings. Henry, it's not polite to stare in windows. That rabbit must be here somewhere. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah, ah. Nope, that's a burrowing owl, Henry. Gotcha! And that's an underground wasp nest. You better buzz off quick. Bunny rabbit! Uh -uh. Oh, rat! This isn't turning out to be the hair-raising experience I had in mind. He's behind you. Say, do you smell carrots? I said he's behind you. Yeah, like I'm gonna fall for that one. Well, you just missed him. Mm, it's true. I do miss him. That cute nose and long fuzzy ears. Lost and alone in the big crowded heartless city. I only wanted to say sorry. Oh, brother Henry, it's not so bad. Termites live in underground cities. Why can't I chase something easy, like a snail? Did you see that? Why, that wuskily wabbit. You can play at that game. I think you have to say the secret password. If I told, it wouldn't be a secret. What's rabbit for open the door? Oh, yeah. Snuffle, 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 snuffle. There goes the secret. Where am I? I know. I'm in my own basement. That's my hat. Stop it. You're a top hat, not a hop hat. Maybe there's something inside. I'll see about that. Abracadabra! Abracadabra! Come on out! Whoever's in my hat! You! Rabbit! Get your own formal attire. 
Everybody's got to live somewhere, Henry. And look where he spilled his raisins. Ooh, that makes me mad. More tea, Bunny? Henry, stop! It's the Dormouse! So oh, glad you could make it. What, not mad anymore, Henry? How could I be mad at her? Really, I'm having such a nice time with my underground friends. So, there's nothing unusual about that book. Right. This is just an ordinary tea party with ordinary tea and some ordinary cake. And speaking of cake, I think this one's saying, Eat. Me. Okay, here goes. Whoa, I take it back. I'm shrinking. Hey, get me out of here. Snuffle, snuffle, snuffle. Every cadaver. Rats. See ya, Henry. I guess you'll be staying down here with your underground animal friends. Anyone got any drink me cola? Please? Helping, helping, helping! Whoa, what a bunch of baloney! And remember, critters, the Animal All Star Awards are today! Awards? What's the prize? The winner gets to be in a parade and attend a special pizza feed in his or her honor. What bliss! Oh, how do I win? The award goes to this year's most helpful animal. Oh boy, I better get started. I've got a lot of helping to do. Of course, everyone expects the winner to be Goody, our helpful collie friend. Goody, the helpful collie? Who is that? That's Goody, doing what she does best. Helping frogs cross the road? You call that helping? <coughs> oh yeah, you'll see. It's gonna be me up there in lights. I'll show that goody what helping's all about. Henry, something tells me you don't have the first idea what being helpful really means. Of course I do. Have you joined the Boy Scouts, Henry? Henry's Help Scouts, actually. I promise to do my best to help other animals and to win that contest no matter what. Now, who needs help around here? You? Here, let me help you cross that road. Hmm. Now, which comes first, the chicken or the egg? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. When the lizard's green, it's time to go. I always wanted to know, Henry, why did the chicken cross the road? Because the lizard said so. Look both ways. Move along now. Now for that egg. Careful there, Henry. Don't drop it. What? Oops. Henry. Oh, no. How wonderful it is to help a new baby into this world. Do you think I'm cut out for the caring professions? Caring? Yes. Carrying? No way. Have another helpful scheme, Henry? You betcha. Meals on wheels. It's just a small way to help out some of my oldest and dearest friends. Like that? Not that kind of deer. She can get her own dinner. Henry. Now he's perfect. Oh, brother. Hiya, tortoise. I brought you some dinner. I've got hamburger, cheeseburger, mini burger, mondo burger, large fry, small fry, slice of cake, onion rings, crunchy things, diet cola, spicy wings, and I'll top it all off with an extra large shake. Phew. Whoops! Should have made that a medium. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Bring all this great food, and all the guy wants is the side salad. Oh well. If you can't help others, help yourself. Henry, it's only helping if you bring them what they like to eat, or lead them to what they like to eat. I tried. Henry! Henry, it's time for your report on bat droppings. What? 
Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, chimps build smallest racetrack yet. And kangaroos get bruised. But now, our top story. You think they bought it? You couldn't even give it away, Henry. Rats. That goody, goody, goody. What's she doing now? Getting spied on, I see. Babysitting a pretty little whammy. Now, why didn't I think of that? I still don't think you understand the true spirit of helping, Henry. Oh, yes, I do. I'm going to help myself to that prize. Here, Goody. Now fetch the ball. Fetch the ball. And now to hide the lamb and get Goody into trouble. Come on. Help us. <laughs> Keep quiet, Lammy, and she'll never find us. Oh, hi there, Goody. Uh, I was just trying to help you out with the babysitting. Uh, uh, right, Lammy? Rats. I almost got away with it. Henry, you never had a chance. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best amazing animal helper are... Henry, what are you up to now? If I'm going to be goody in this helpful game, it's going to take some heroic action. Introducing... Lizard Man! The greatest helper in my universe! Now all I need is someone to help. Why, Goody? What's that you say? Little Timmy's gone down the well? And his mommy's worried? Because he hasn't got his water wings? Stop your whimpering! This looks like a job for... Lizard Man! Prepare for takeoff! Here I go! Help is on the way, Henry. Everything's fine, Timmy. Goody? I can't be saved by Goody. Drop that rope. Wait! Don't you remember the old saying, pride goeth before a fall? Hey there, lizard man. What's the news? Haven't you heard? And here comes the star of our parade, our very own Animal of the Year. Hi there. Hello. Thank you. Don't tell me you won. Not exactly. You can't compete with a do-gooder like Goody Do-Good here. But I did learn a lot about helping today. I'm really glad to hear that, Henry. In fact, Goody wants me to help her eat her pizza at the awards dinner tonight. Right, Goody? <laughs> Henry, you've got a long way to go. I don't mind. I love long parades. Don't you, Goody? Sit, Goody, sit! Henry, stop! That's not how the story goes. Shh! Don't tell everyone! You're supposed to have three bears. I've already got three pigs. Besides, where we are, they won't know the difference. Where are we? In the woods. Do you realize the animals don't even get cable out here? 
That's why I've brought them Henry's Amazing Animal Extravaganza Mucho! <laughs> Showtime! All we need now is an audience. Where are those piggies? Get out there and advertise! Don't worry about finding an audience, Henry. The woods are full of animals. Oh, yeah? Mirror, mirror in my hand. Who's the loveliest lizard in the land? <laughs> Henry, what kind of show is this? Snow White. You like? I was hoping to recruit some of the locals to play the dwarves. Trouble is... I don't see a soul out there. The show must go on, Henry. Audience! Oh, audience! Wherefore art thou, audience? Maybe you just need to take a closer look. Like where? Like behind those trees. Okay, come out. We need you all on stage. We've got our stripey, wipey, flimsy, whimsy, stinky, winky. All I need now is a bashful. Where's my bashful? Okay, bunnies, all together now. Hi-ho! Come on, come on! Hi-ho! What's this, a sing-along? It would be if anyone would sing along. Have you tried telling ghost stories around the campfire? It requires less uh, audience participation. Good idea. Let me think. Hmm. Why don't you go first? Okay. It was a dark and spooky night. The wind was whistling in the trees. The grass was full of crickets. The trees were full of frogs. Overhead, the bats were hunting. A wolf bayed in the distance, when all of a sudden, out of the darkness, a ghost appeared. Ah, yikes! I'm getting out of here! But Henry, I haven't finished the story. Yeah? Well, whose road show is this anyway? Save your ghost stories for the matinee audience. But Henry, a lot of these woodland animals... Henry! Henry, it's time for your report on the sounds of the forest. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, the naughty little bear meets the Swinga from Kalinga. But now, our top story. And next, the weather. The weather? The weather I got it right, or whether I got it wrong. Take a guess. Rats. Oh, Henry. What? Rise and shine. Oh, I'll rise, but I won't shine till I've had my breakfast. I like Henry Pops because there's green scaly goodness in every spoonful. Oh, brother. Rats. I guess I'll have to go out for breakfast. Ah, I forgot. You mean you slept up the tree? Only because you scared me so much. Now, how am I going to find breakfast? Come on, Henry. Use your head. Okay. Mind if I join you? So, how do you do this? Just... Henry, I wouldn't. That must have hurt. It did. But the little marshmallows inside are so worth it. Uh, those aren't marshmallows, Henry. What are they? Oh, larvae, bugs, maggots. Hmm, not bad. Mm. I'm going to tell all my friends to come here. A lot of animals already know that... <laughs> It must be showtime again, huh, Henry? That's right. We're doing the Three Little Pigs, and I'm playing the Big Bad Wolf. Guys, put some hairs on your chinny-chin-chins and get out there. And remember, no hamming. That's the trouble with pigs. Sorry, Henry, but you don't look much like a real wolf to me. Maybe, but my acting is very convincing. Here goes. Little pig, 
Little pig, let me in! Help me out here, will you? Oh, uh... Not by the hair on my chinny-chin-chin. Chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in! <laughs> Roar! Growl! Howl's <laughs> Huh? What happened to my audience? What happened to my little piggies? I think they went wee-wee-wee all the way home. You mean my acting was that good? They thought I was a real big bad wolf? Don't build up your part. There's a lot more to wolves than just a lot of huffing and puffing. Oh, all right. You have to look beyond the legend, Henry. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best amazing woodland animals are... Pinhead! So, Henry, do you consider your roadshow a success? You bet. I've heard of standing ovations, but how many actors get a running ovation? But my work here is done, and it's time to move on. Are you taking your new double act on the road? Mm -mm -mm. Even better. I've got a whole new cast of amazing animal actors. So, what should we perform next? Babes in the Woods? Robin Hood? I know, Sleeping Beauty! Now there's a part for me. Okie dokie, that's one backpack, one pair of binoculars, and an extra large box of Fido snacks. Can you carry all that, or would you like a doggy bag? Did you have to slobber all over it? Starting a new business, Henry? It's called Henry's Mountain Tours. Our first expedition is in search of the mysterious Yeti. You mean the legendary two-legged creature of the mountains, which most scientists say doesn't exist? Science schmience. They say that about a lot of things. But look, here's a postcard of Bigfoot. Too bad he stepped on the camera. And here's one of the Loch Ness Monster. You wouldn't believe how muddy those locks get. Uh, aliens? Don't tell me. Thumb in the lens? I know what you're thinking, but there really is a Yeti. I saw it on... Mysteries of the Mountains. I even taped it. There. There he is. Where? Look. There he is again. It was on TV, so it must be real. Oops. Rewind. There. Is that a Yeti or what? It's hard to say just what it is. Oh, yeah? Who made you the expert on mountain animals anyway? Well, I do know a thing or two about the subject. All right. I know these mountains like the back of my hand. So I'll be the leader. Ah! What's that? The back of your hand, Henry. I knew that. Now, follow me. I'll keep my eyes out for that old Yeti. See anything? Not Yeti. Henry, how are we supposed to follow you up there? Nobody said mountaineering was easy. Henry! Don't worry about it. But it's dangerous! What do you mean? It isn't dangerous. Dangerous? It looks like you could use a helping hoof from one of these guys, Henry. Company! Hop! Coco time! Now who's going to gather up some firewood? Sorry, Henry. There's no wood up here. Come now. I need to make a pit stop behind the bushes, and then... Sorry, Henry. No bushes either. All right. Fess up. Who hid all the trees? Was it you? Oh, 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 oh. No one hid them, Henry. They just won't grow up here above the tree line. The what? The tree line. That does it. Where are you going? Back below the tree line. I'm desperate. 
Why, Henry, I never knew you were such a tree lover. You remind me of someone else I know. Can't this wait? I was hoping for a little privacy. Don't worry, I'm talking about the mountain beaver. Henry, Henry, it's time for your news report. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, Dr. Superglue strikes again! And meditating lemurs just say, um... But now, our top story. You think they bought it? You couldn't even give it away, Henry. Let's. Let me see if I... Is that for attracting yetis, Henry? Yeti spaghetti. I hear they love it. They may be rare, but no yeti can resist turning up for a mountain meal al fresco. Isn't this getting just a little bit ridiculous? Don't laugh. My customers will want their money back if they don't see a Yeti. Now, where was that Parmesan? <laughs> I know I had it here somewhere. What the? Where's the Yeti spaghetti? Oh, no! He was here! See? See? The Yeti's not so rare after all. Rare is one thing, Henry. Mythology is something else. You see, nobody can be sure the Yeti has ever really existed. Don't say that. Do you want to wreck my business? And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best amazing mountain animals are... Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, Henry, calm down. Easy for you to say. You're a pink dinosaur with yellow spots. Look at me. I'm turning into a big chocolate donut. I can't bear it. I've got trees in my ears. You have not. You're just seeing things. You've got altitude sickness. Viva la France! Viva l'Empereur! What is this, this altitude of sickness? The air is so thin up here, there's not much oxygen in it. If you climb too quickly, you can start to feel ill, even a little bit crazy. You don't think I'm acting kind of funny, do you? Do you? <laughs> I've got a Yeti to catch. Gangway! <laughs> well, I guess some animals are better at dealing with high altitudes than others. Last, you've made it to the top, Henry. Yep. If I don't find a Yeti here, there's nowhere left to look. And just think of all the refunds I'd have to shell out. Oh, no. I can't see a thing. This is abominable snow, man. I can't move. Hang in there, Henry. I'll get help. What's that? Is that you? Relax, Henry. It's the St. Bernard. I told you I was going to get help. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I didn't meet the Yeti. But who knew I'd make an amazing mountain animal out of one of my own customers? Right, Henry. It was a gray day in the office. A day without customers. A day without color. Which is bad news for a detective, which is what I am. Henry Hardboiled, private eye. What's with the hat, Henry? It covers my private eye, see? You must be bored. Business slow, huh? Yeah, it's this phone. Ring, why don't you? 
Oh, it never hurts to ask. Hello? You don't say. You don't say! Who is it, Henry? They won't say! But the backyard bandit has struck again! We're on our way! Better step on it, Henry. I think we're being tailed. That's the trouble with being so good looking. You better watch where you're going, Henry. Henry! <laughs> well, that's one way to lose a tail. No, it's still here. It's just a little bent. Where are we? Someone's backyard. I smell a wreck. No wonder. What seems to be the problem? Interesting. There's your crime, Henry. It isn't that bad. Not the stand. The sculpture has been stolen. So, the backyard bandit must be a backyard animal himself to take a thing like that. Where were you on the night of the 4th? Well, hard-boiled Henry, you sure have your work cut out for you. If you look hard enough, even in your own backyard... Henry, what are you doing? I'm building up a profile of this backyard bandit. Oops. <laughs> How did that get in there? Hmm. What sort of animal could it be? So, he has feathers, does he? And some kind of wool. Hmm. A trail of slime. Figures. Some sort of antlers. And this? That's all the clues I need. You're sure now? Mm-hmm. So much of detective work is computerized these days. I just cut and paste, nip and tuck, and voila! Out comes our bad guy. I've seen some pretty unusual backyard animals in my time, but... But what? We'll search every backyard there is till we find that bandit. I don't care if he's hiding in the tropics, the desert, up a mountain, or at the beach. What's that sign mean? No parking. Oh, yeah? Oh, show them. Let's go to the park. Good idea. Uh, Henry, I think you've lost your color again. Shh, it's my disguise. I'm setting a cunning trap. If the bandit sees another statue, he'll want to steal me for sure. Shh, here comes trouble now. Stand still. Your statue disguise is working. You're a hit. As long as I don't get a direct hit. Shoo, pigeons! I told you this town was full of rascals. No more than usual, Henry. Oh. Henry! Henry, it's time for your report on storks. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal lizard coming through! in Bad Hair Day. And cold feet for cold-blooded swimming champ. But now, our top story. And next, the weather. The weather? The weather I got it right, or whether I got it wrong. Take a guess. Rats. On the road again, Henry? That's detective work for you. An endless trail of greasy burger joints and cheap motels. Uh, what a life. At least I always have plenty of free soap. The Lizard Inn. Reptiles welcome. But what about bandits? You check inside. I'll go around the back. Let's flush them out. Okay. I don't see any sign of your bandit. <laughs> Scary cat. <laughs> no, more like Alley Cat. Say, what's new, Pussy Cat? Is room service here that bad? What kind of lousy motel is this, anyway? Well, Henry, a garbage can to you might be a gourmet dinner to another animal. So, Henry, are you ready to admit you're absolutely clueless? 
Never. I just need to recharge my batteries with some brain food. Hi there. I'll have pie and a cup of joe, please. That's right. Pie and a cup of joe. I didn't know you liked coffee. <laughs> Who said anything about coffee? Somebody better tell Joe. This stuff is awful. Pie, please. I need my pie. And you got it. That's a magpie. You say, what are you cheering? Hey, that must be the backyard bandit. Follow that bird. Now, now which gear is it? No! Oh, excuse me. Did anyone see a magpie go by? Over here, Henry. Over here. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best amazing backyard animal are... This is it. The bandit's hideout. If I don't come out in five minutes, call in the law. Henry, are you okay? Uh-oh. Aha! Okay, Magpie, the gig is up. Caught withholding the evidence. Wow, your backyard bandit sure collected a lot of loot. My fork! And there, the missing statue. Wow, fantastic! It's a masterpiece! The Maltese Lizard. Well, since Mr. Magpie here is about to become a jailbird, I might as well take this home with me. I don't think he meant to steal, Henry. Magpies just can't resist shiny objects, remember? They don't mean any harm. Hmm, that'll be the police for Mr. Magpie now. Hard-boiled Henry always gets his magpie. Wait a minute. What are you doing? I'm on your side! Oh, Henry, is this what being a private eye got you? I'd say it was hanging around with all those rascally backyard animals. <laughs> They're a wild bunch, all right. Hi there. Ever seen a pizza go from mini snack to party size in just one easy second? Hey, Henry, what do you call that thing? It's the new size o -Medic from Henry Co. It makes food bigger. Not available in stores anywhere? But this show's about tiny animals. No problem with the size o -Medic. It slices, it dices, it even goes in reverse. Puts an end to all your snack time needs. So, what needs shrinking? Your stomach, maybe. Hmm. A cabbage. The world could do with less cabbage. Hmm, maybe this is where Brussels sprouts come from. Well, no, Henry, stay off of there. Why? Oh no! I Henry, where are you? Honey, I shrunk myself. What the? You said you wanted tiny animals, didn't you? So, how does it feel being minuscule, Henry? Amazing! Look at the size of everything. Look at my toys. Hmm, this puts a whole new perspective on my game. Beat that! <laughs> hey, cool! I can finally see what's under my bed. Yeah. I wish I hadn't seen that. What was it? Uh, crispy golden hoops of wheat with just a hint of mold. I forgot to clean up my old cereal bowl. Looks like someone's on the job already. Eek! A mouse! Scram, you pest! <coughs> Wait a minute. I've got an idea. Now, come on. You're a watchdog. What do you think I pay you for? <coughs> no, not that! 
No respect! <laughs> Hi, Mousy. Nice place you've got here. It looks like you're the intruder now, Henry. I'm no intruder. Not in my own house. I just want to survive. <laughs> just like any animal. But somehow the smallest ones always get called pests. With the stealth of a butterfly and the speed of a bee, Henry the lizard dives into a jungle of tall grass. That dog will never find me in here. I wouldn't be too sure. This is wild. Incredible. I never knew I had a jungle. Right here in my own room. With jungle animals, even. There's another. And another. What are they? Fleas. Fleas? Afraid so, Henry. That's no jungle. That's your dog. Ah! Incoming dog goober. Help. I'll hide in here. Now you've done it. You made her itch. Hey! I never knew I could be so irritating. Uh, you don't know the half of it. Ah! Now where am I? Hello? Talk about a hair-raising experience. At least it's a good hiding spot. She'll never find me in here. Henry! Henry, it's time for your report on the food chain. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, the bird who can't keep a secret. And Hat Day Highlights! But now, our top story. And next, the weather. The weather? The weather I got it right, or whether I got it wrong. Take a guess. Rats. <laughs> okay, Mousy. I know you're hungry, and I'm hungry too. Well, I happen to know of one very large pizza on the table that has our names on it. Not both our names, just mine and pepperoni. But what matters is the taste. Are you with me? Then let's go, go, go! For a little guy, you sure are bossy. Okay, Mousy, up we go. Move it, move it, move it! No! No! Ah! Rats! It looks like you're out of luck. Hey, Mousino! Send me down that nice mozzarella pizza! Henry, are you okay? Being small does have its advantages. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Award. The winners of my all-time best amazing tiny animal are... All right, Henry, I think it's time to switch on the Sizomatic and get you back to normal. Well, normal for you, that is. Smart guy. It's been fun, but when you've got to grow, you've got to grow. I'll miss you, little guy. Go on, buddy. That must be the zoom. Set it to 100 times bigger. 100! Check! I'll be back to my old self in no time. That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, beam me up, Mousy! Here we go! Wait, that's not the zoom button. <laughs> Am I big yet? Well, Henry, there is a lot more of you. All right! And they're all behind you. What? What? Wow! <laughs> Have you ever seen so much handsomeness in one place? But what am I gonna do with all these mini-me's? Uh, start a fan club? A chorus line? Or better yet, both! 
Ready? Who's the funniest guy that you've ever seen? Henry! Henry! Who makes the competition turn green? Henry! Oh, brother. Brothers? I've got a hundred of them. Not many creatures can replicate themselves that quickly, Henry. But some of the tiniest ones come pretty close. Adios! Hasta luego! Au revoir! Bon voyage! Au fine zane! Peter! Good luck! See ya! Saying goodbye so soon? It's time for them to go forth and get their own TV shows. And it's time for me to grow up. Tell me about it. Uh. Ahem! <clears throat> okay, Mousie! Start her up! To grow or not to grow? That is the question. Oh, very nice. Let's give him a big hand. Or two big hands. Do you think I look better with a bigger nose? Oh, grow up, Henry. My thoughts exactly. Oh, yeah, this is great. I'm getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> That's enough, Henry. I love it. You're going too far. Nonsense! I've always wanted to be huge. Just once. Who's the tiny one now, eh, Fido? <laughs> Compared with you, Henry, even those horses are amazing tiny animals. Oh, my little ponies. Aren't they cute? Anybody want a lizard back ride? Same as usual, cowpoke. Beans again? That's all we ever eat. That's how the West was won. You're darn tootin'. <laughs> so are you. <laughs> are you talking to yourself, Henry? I have to. There's nobody else to talk to out here. Maybe you need a partner. It's like they say in that old country song. A cowboy needs a partner like a spider needs a fly. But I ain't got nobody, I'm so lonesome I could cry. You do 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 Now I know why you don't have a partner. Shh! Did you hear that? I think we're being watched. Maybe it's a bandito. What's a bandito? Kind of like an enchilada, but no cheese. All right, you varmint! I'm coming to get ya! Henry, you're bandits out here. Hmm? Well, I'll be. Hey, get out of there! Wait a minute. You're a cowboy, Henry, and you said you needed a partner. He's perfect. Oh, I don't know. Hey, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay. Howdy, horse. Ah, You know, this could be the start of a beautiful partnership. We both love beans, after all. You know, partner, you're lucky winding up with a real cowboy like me. I can spit. Twing. I like cows. And I've got a Yahoo hat. Why a Yahoo hat? Because when you're a cowboy, you always go... Yahoo! Uh-oh. Looks like one prickly customer. Hey, look at this. It says wanted. Real rootin' tootin' deputies needed to clean up this town. B-Y-O-H. What's B-Y-O-H? Uh, maybe bring your own horse? Well, I'll be. That's the job for me and my partner. <laughs> Now stand still. A law lizard needs his hat. <coughs> Almost. <coughs> Almost. <coughs> Yo! Why'd you do that? I thought we were partners. It takes more than a minute to forge a good partnership, Henry. Some animals work at it their whole lives. You'll just have to hang in there. Very funny. Help! 
How are the horse riding lessons going, Henry? Pretty good. I think he's starting to get the hang of it. I thought you were the one who was supposed to be learning. Learn? I'm a natural. I was saddle sore before I could walk. Let's go. Step on it. Vamos. I think the word is, uh... Giddy up! But I thought you were a natural, Henry. I am a natural faller offer. What you need is practice. Okay, I'm practicing. I'm still practicing. Satisfied? Ah! I think you'd better take a look at how some real naturals hitch a ride, Henry. Hey! Come back! Henry! Henry, it's time for your report on animal bloodsuckers. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal lizard coming through! Jellyfish plays Vegas. And lizards visit Mars. And like it. But now, our top story. You think they bought it? You couldn't even give it away, Henry. Let's. Oh, this is town, huh? Man, am I thirsty. Where's the snack bar? This is cowboy town, Henry. If you're thirsty, better head for the saloon. Ah, here, the local watering hole can be pretty rough. But that's okay, cause I'm even rougher. Nice move, tough guy. Are you calling me a turkey? Uh, no offense. Two root beers, one for me and one for my partner. In a dirty glass. Got it! Whoops. That hit the spot. Uh, no, I think it hit the rabbit. Careful, Henry. You don't want to annoy anyone in here. Hey, no problem. Everybody, just stay calm. Better sit down, partner. We don't want any trouble. Ah, I didn't mean on a chair. I hope you can pay for that. Well, now you've done it, you big mule. We'll get thrown out of here for sh... Uh-oh. Look out, Henry. Ah, now I know why they call them bouncers. Ow. Hmm. From now on, no more Mr. Tough Guy. Maybe I'd be better off working alone. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best amazing animal partners are... Henry, what are you doing? The poster said, cowboy tryouts at high noon. This is as high as you can get in this town, and I'm the only cowboy up here. Henry, high noon means 12 o'clock. What time is it? Mm, nearly. 12 o'clock! I noticed! Oh, no. Partner? I knew your partnership would get better, Henry. It's just a matter of, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. How do you know she likes being scratched so much? It's an expression, Henry. It means both animals are getting something out of a partnership. It's a mutual arrangement enjoyed by animals as different as the impala. A cowboy needs a partner like a 
treasure needs a chest. I've got the bestest partner in the whole wild west. You'll lay here. Henry, Henry, <laughs> tell us, did you get that cowboy job or not? Oh, I got it all right. Now I know what they meant by cowboys wanted to clean up this town. Hmm. Come on, Beanie. This load is ready for the dump. Aw, uh, at least you've settled on a name for your partner. But why Beanie? Because we love the same food. Ah. A cowboy needs water like fishies need a drink. We love to eat our beans all day, and that's why we both... <laughs> and so Henry the Lizard, fastest street sweeper in the West, rode his trusty partner Beanie off into the sunset. Proving that you'll never be a lonesome cowboy as long as you've got an amazing animal partner by your side. Whee! Henry! Oh, Henry! I had the most amazing dream. I had feathers, no scales, and I was flying somewhere over the rainbow. But when I went to land, hi, how you doing? I got the sneezes. Achoo! And there I was, scaly old me again. And all the birds were laughing. And then I woke up. Oh, ow! So, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed then? And now I can't find my morning paper. Here it comes. Where? Oh. There. I'll bet you don't treat your furry customers like that. Will you look at this? Croc shock. Snake bites dog. Scales in jail. Who writes this stuff? It must have been a bad scale day. It's anti-scale is what it is. I've had it. The monitor lizard is a typically vicious, scaly hooligan, as this poor, defenseless, fluffy chick is now discovered to its peril. Hey, this just isn't fair. We can't help being scaly. Why can't people understand? Reptiles are people, too. Ah, uh, I like your scales. It makes me so mad I can just, just, just... Sing? Well, if you insist. If you want to be safe and sound, some protection must be found to help you Alive. Some animals take flight Or only come out at night And that works fine for them Cats and dogs have tails All sailboats have sails But a lizard like me, Henry, needs scales. Chameleons are my friends. Change color now and then. For warmth or camouflage. Lizards, turtles, and snakes. All oh, reptiles, for goodness sakes. Have scales to cover ourselves. Cats and dogs have tails. Escargot are snails. But a lizard like me, Henry, needs scales. Maybe scales aren't for you. But how can I do the things that I do? Scales are right for me. Scaly creatures aren't a sham. I like myself the way that I am. So I'm gonna... A lizard like me, Henry, needs scales.
nice song, Henry, but why the big speakers? I'm declaring today National Scale Day. So I have to get the message out. Celebrate Scale Day! Spread the word! Hug a lizard! Reptiles have feelings too, you know! Henry, what's that wire behind your car? That's the power cable for my speakers. Uh-oh, bad idea. Kiss a fish! Shake a snake! Henry, stop! What? What's wrong with scales? They ache. Nothing's perfect, Henry, but scales are one of the best protective coverings there is. Welcome to the National Scale Day TV Special! And here's your host, Henry the Lizard! Hello! Thank you, thank you. Happy Scale Day! Tonight, we're going to prove that scaly animals aren't scary at all. So let's not waste any more time and start by introducing our guests. Well, Hank, your panel of scaly experts tonight are the iguana, the bearded lizard, and the frilled lizard. Let's hear it! Oh, yes, hello. Lizard to lizard now. What do you think is the best part about having scales? Is it all the money you save on haircuts? Obviously having a bad scale day. And you, sir, do you think a lack of fur or feathers contributes to the negative image of scaly animals? Hmm, camera shy, eh? <laughs> Am I the only lizard with any personality around here? And what about you, sir? What's the scariest thing you've ever done? And just how scary can a lizard be with a name like Frilly? Oh, uh, we apologize for the slight, um, technical hitch we seem to be experiencing at the moment, uh, but we'll be right back after a short commercial break. You stay if you want. I'm out of here. Henry! Henry, it's time for your report on lizards. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Marine iguanas agree to agree about everything ever. And Tortoise happily provides first free park and ride service. I'm not sure you're the most impartial reporter, Henry. Would you mind if I read the report just this once? Hmm. I don't see why not. Thanks, Hen. Now, top story. Wise guy, I think you made it all up. What? Like you don't make up your reports, Henry? Mm, you're right. Thank. <laughs> Hi! Happy Scale Day! So I see you've given up your TV career, Henry. Oh, I wouldn't do that. But I've decided what this campaign needs is the personal touch. Shake some paws. Kiss some babies. Mwah! And what else? Hmm. Knock on some more doors. I don't know if I'd go in there if I were you, Henry. Why not? A family of eagles lives there. They sometimes eat guys like you. Moving right along. How about this one? Leopards. They've been known to get a few scales between their teeth. Sheesh! This is one rough neighborhood with a bad appetite. Maybe I'll just put a flyer through the door. See what I mean? No respect. And speaking of flyers, are those birdie feet I see? At least they're no threat to us, Scaly. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for a Henry's Amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best Scaly animals are... Okay, everybody, we have to set up for the Scale Day concert. Giant stage giant speakers, and a cool video wall. What do you think? Who are you talking to, Henry? All my volunteers. What volunteers? Hey! Nobody showed up. 
but it's almost time. We've got work to do. Looks like I'll just have to do everything myself. Yeah! <sighs> what do you think? I didn't know you had it in you. I thought you knew by now. Us lizards are amazing! I'm beginning to get the message. Just to make sure, I've asked a few of my scaly friends to drop us a line. And you know a lot about them, too. See? I told you so. I know what's going on. In fact, me and Mother Nature wrote this song. Hit it, Ma! If you want to know about amazing animals, ask Henry. If knowledge is your wish about butts and fish, ask Henry. About critters short and tall. If you want to know about amazing animals, ask Henry. My name is Henry and I'm gonna sing a song to you. About my animal bodies and all the things they can do. From the cool birds in the trees to the big dogs and their fleas. Every creature has a feature that's guaranteed to make you smile. Insects and mammals. I've even seen a fish with wings. So let's take care of our planet so all of them can stick around. And if you're ever in a dither about what kind of critter you found, just remember if you want to know about amazing animals, ask Henry. If knowledge is your wish about bugs and fish, ask Henry. One's in the wash. Bath time, Henry? That's me. Bath time, Henry. So why don't you get in? <coughs> Sheesh! Can a lizard get a little privacy? All right, I'm going. But don't be too long. <sighs> now, come here, ducky. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling sleepy. Henry, is that bath still running? Henry, I'm coming in. Oh no, Henry, you flooded everything. You've turned this whole place into a river. I did? Cool. I'll call it the Henry Sippy. Ah, this isn't the way a real river starts. I know, but it's only a half hour show. With just a few household objects, you too can turn your bathtub into a boat, fit for downstream adventure. Careful, Henry. Rivers can get pretty wild, you know. Oh, I'm ready for anything. That's good, because there are rapids dead ahead. Rapid deadheads? What do you... Ah! 
Roll left. Roll right. Roll left. Roll right. Would you please make up your mind? Hang on. To what? My rubber ducky. Oh. Don't worry about that now, Henry. Henry, Henry, it's time for your report on mice fishing. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, pink is it again for flamingo fashion. And birds get pimples too. But now, our top story. More later. But first, here now the sports. Fantasyland one, lizards, zero. Rats. It did. <laughs> Looks like you're doing more bailing than sailing, Henry. And my boat's still half full. I'm just gonna tip it out. I wouldn't do it that way. You're right. There's a much quicker way to empty a tub. Which is? Pull the plug. Now you've done it. Right. Oh, hi. I was just in the neighborhood and thought I'd drop in. You haven't seen a duck around here, have you? No. I, I don't suppose you get many air breeders down here. You'd be surprised, Henry. You're not the first four-legged animal to visit. <sighs> Oops. Sorry, ladies. Uh, didn't mean to interrupt your bath. All right, crew. Our mission is to find that ducky. You there. Uh, me, Captain? Look ship -shape. I want you to... Swap the poop decks. <laughs> and check the sonar. How's it looking? Sonar? So good. Watch it. Uh-oh. There's something at 9 o'clock. What? There's something else at 12 o'clock. Well, will you stop reading the TV guide and look for my ducky? 12 o'clock means there's something right in front of us, Captain Henry. Really? Hey, that's no duck. Those are fish. Don't you guys know not to cross the river without looking? Those river fish have more important things to worry about. Like what? Like kingfishers. They don't need sonar to find fish. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best amazing river animals are... Uh, permission to speak, Captain? Well, if you must. What seems to be the problem? We've lost all power. The engines are down. She not take much more of this. Whoa! Hey! Careful, Henry. Back and forth. And back and forth. And turn! Whoa! It's not the engines that are down. Then what is it? The river. What happened? Ouch. Rats. Not rats, Henry. Beavers. They've stopped the river flowing. Oh, no. Not my river. The Henry Sippy isn't the first river to dry up, you know, Henry. One more joke from you and I'll walk. Journey's end. The sea. But my poor ducky's been washed away forever. You did it, Henry. The big mouth of the river. 
What did you call me? Not you. The mouth of a river is where it opens up into the sea. Oh. Aren't you glad you made it? How can I be glad when my ducky's gone forever? When I'll never smell that sweet, fresh ducky smell again. Ducky! Squeak to me! Yay! I thought I'd lost you. Ah, oh, congratulations, Henry. Come home, ducky, please. We just might make it by bath time. Not that I have a bath anymore. And did you meet any nice river animals on your trip? And weren't they just amazing? Ah, uh, you always say the sweetest things. Welcome aboard! Right this way! Glad you could make it! Thanks, Henry. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Have you thought of a name for your new airline yet? Yep, it's called Lizard Air, the amazing animal airline. First class ladies, right up front. They're VIPs, very important pussycats. Any more carry-on luggage? Traveling alone? Or is there someone in your pouch? Stinking sections in the back. You. Welcome to Lizard Air. Cat flaps are located there there, and there. Please make sure all poisonous snakes are stored in the overhead compartments. In the unlikely event you're a turkey, your seat can be used as a nesting device. I hope you enjoy your flight on Lizard Air, the only way to travel. Now, please pay attention to the following safety demonstration. Oops. Hmm. I think maybe you could learn a thing or two by watching this, Henry. Don't tell me you're the pilot, too. Somebody's got to fly this thing. Now, how do you turn it on? Uh-oh. You better make sure all your equipment is in working order before takeoff. Roger! Aye, aye! And check! Hmm. Visibility! Check! Wings! Check! Ready for takeoff! Wait! What about your landing gear? Got it right here. Everything I need for landing. Shorts, sunglasses, flaps! Flapping! Uh, wiggle this, twiddle that, put one of these, eeny, meeny, miny, mo! Ah! No! Careful! Henry, watch out! Here we go! You don't know the first thing about aerodynamics, do you, Henry? Your attention, please. Our in-flight movie today will be that old favorite... The Lizard of Oz. Passengers are asked please not to eat each other. I'll be bringing around a selection of tasty snacks shortly. Henry, if you're out here, who's flying the plane in there? Oh, don't worry. I put her on autopilot. Lucky we had an otter on board. Uh, uh, uh. Something, Henry, and quick! Oh, sorry, buddy. You haven't had enough lessons yet. It took me a whole day to learn how to fly this thing. Ahem. Uh, sorry about the disturbance, passengers. We had a beginner at the control. All right, Otter. Back to your seat. Don't be too rough on him, Henry. Even the experts have to face a steep learning curve. Ah! Henry! Henry, it's time for your report on flying mammals. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, Owl develops winking problem. And Caterpillar learns to cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. But now, our top story. 
I think they bought it. You couldn't even give it away, Henry. Let's. I think you'll find Henry. Okay. Uh, this is the stick shift. Ooh, these were the flaps. And I don't know what this is yet. That's navigation equipment. Don't you at least have a navigator? An alligator? They sit in the tail section. No, navigator. Somebody has to keep track of where we are. Don't be ridiculous. We're in the sky. But Henry, where are we going? Let's have a look. The fish have tickets to Finland, cats to Kathmandu, polar bears to the... Uh-oh. I knew I should have taken that right at Albuquerque. You better ask for directions, Henry. Yeah. Excuse me! Uh, can you tell me? Where are we going? Shh, shh. Ooh, what does that mean? Uh, it means... Into that mountain! Huh? Thank goodness for air brakes. Now, where are we going? Mm, the wrong way. And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. The winners of my all-time best amazing animal flyer are... Nothing like a bit of free advertising. Yes, but do you know where we're going yet, Henry? Mm, no, but I'm really getting the hang of this flying thing. Let's see what this baby can do. Anything birds can do, I can do better. Henry, the passengers won't like this. They love it. Think of the fish tanks. How about a bit of barnstorming? No, bad idea. Hey, Hattie! Was fun. I don't think your passengers agree. What? Come back! Somebody shut the door! I was just doing a bit of in-flight entertainment! Make that 29,999,900... Uh, yeah, thank you, Henry. <laughs> Captain Henry, the ground control. I haven't spotted any new customers yet. Wait a minute. Hey, wildebeesties! Hi there! Want a lift? Careful, Henry. You're flying too low. Watch out for those... Ah! Trees. Oh, all aboard. Sorry to tell you this, but I think we've lost our wings. What? So, what are you going to do now? If at first you don't succeed, you can always take the bus. Go, lizard lines. There's so much more to see on the ground. And you can leave the air travel to the real amazing flying animals. First, please. Where am I? Where are you taking me? Why do I have to wear this thing on my eyes? You'll see, Henry. You'll see. That'd be nice for a change. Okay, Henry. You can take your blindfold off on one, two, three. Surprise! Gosh! Surprise party? For me? And I invited all the animals we've ever met on our amazing animal adventures. Oh, great! So where are the snacks, huh? Wait a second. Aren't you going to say hello to the guests first? Hello, guests. I'm starving! Henry, these animals have come from all over the world in your honor. Oh, all right. Please, guests. After you, and you, and you, and you. That's the spirit. Spirit? Don't mind if I do. Fondue, that is. I hope you made lots. It's like a jungle in here. A jungle, a desert, and everything in between. There are animals here from every habitat on Earth. I think we'll need more pork. Henry, what are you doing? What does it look like? Don't you think it's time you mingled a little? All right, all right. Hi there. What's your name? That's a python, Henry. How nice. Remind me to give you a big hug later. I said I'd mingle, not get mangled. Howdy, howdy there, lemur. Haven't we met before? Don't you remember our trip to the rainforest, Henry? Ah, uh, yes. The natural home of chocolate. That was a trip to remember.
go. Where am I? That was your first trip to the rainforest, Henry. So it was pretty amazing to find that ancient Mayan temple. I thought I was in Raiders of the Lost Candy Bar. But who would have guessed the Mayans had set a trap? Wow! Check out those floor tiles. It was scary, but I found my treasure. Some treasure? There. It's a chocolate plant. My favorite. Henry? Henry? Man, am I thirsty. Excuse me. May I come in? Oh. Hey, she drank it all, and I'm parched. You think you're parched? Imagine living in the desert like she does. I don't have to imagine. I've seen it all before. Remember? I remember you had some trouble getting around when you first arrived. Sheesh. I've heard of quicksand, but slow shifting sand? How does anybody get around on this stuff? Desert animals have adapted to life on the sand, Henry. They're more suited to it than you are. Yeah? Well, if this works, it'll suit me just fine. It's Aladdin's lamp. Alakazam! <laughs> Yo, Red Man! Take me to the nearest swimming pool. Careful, Henry! Careful! Still glad you came, Henry? <laughs> hey, I'm a diamond in the rough. Oh, brother. Somebody ought to put a lawn here. A few trees. Know what I mean? Save the sand for the sandbox. There's me looking handsome. And there's you, Tuesday, looking crabby. And do you have any pictures of me in there, too? I know I took one. But I think I got my thumb in it. But here's one you'll really like. Crab Tuesday took it with his underwater camera. Right, Tuesday? <laughs> that was the day you went to sea. Boy, were you nervous. What? Not with my trusty shark boxer, or my octopus ink jet spray, and, of course, the world's biggest water cannon. Now, which one of these buttons brings it back in? Not that one. Ah! How do you drive this thing, Henry? I don't have a clue. We're sinking fast. Do something. Here. OK. Look at this. It's working. But would somebody get those fish off the road? Shoo. Shoo. Henry. Henry, it's time for your report on the party. What? Now? Yes, now. Out of my way! Journal Lizard coming through! Tonight, Meerkat Dads are pushovers. And Dr. Freeze strikes Birdland. But now, our top story. You're all invited to party down with the world's favorite lounge lizard. Oh. More later. But first, here now the sports. Fantasyland one, lizards, zero. Rats. Henry, what's wrong? You're looking a bit blue. Surprise! That's an ice sculpture by Pablo Piquenguin. Isn't it beautiful? And I thought you were just being chilly. I, I mean, silly. <laughs> I haven't felt this cold since I went to the North Pole. You want to talk about chilling out? I think I set a new record on that trip. Burr, it's cold. I don't 
mine, though. You know my motto! Be pre 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 prepared? Precisely! Pilot to tower! Prepare for landing! You want to ski here? It's the perfect spot. There are no rocks, no trees. And no hills. This is the polar ice cap. Underneath this layer of ice, do you know what you'll find? Switch off boosters! What? The ocean. Help! <laughs> Henry, are you all right? Oh, fine. For an icicle. <laughs> Thanks for the lift, pal. I thought... And now, ladies and gentle lizards, it's time for Henry's amazing Golden Gecko Awards. <laughs> Winners of my all-time most amazing globe-trotting animals are... Let's go around the world. Let's go around the world. Get out of your seat. With your tail unfurled. So come on with me. Let's go around the world. Camels trek through the desert. Whale splash in the sea. There are rainforest creatures who look a lot like me. Oh, come, come on, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go around the world. Everywhere on the planet, animals learn how to survive. Up in the mountains, down by the seashore, we all want to stay alive. Some birds dwell in the tropics. Some monkeys swing in the trees. Prairie dogs dig it underground, baby. Polar bears like the deep breeze. Yo, Yo come, come on, on, you animal, animal you. Let's, let's go, go around, around the world. world. Animals can be creepy or be crawly. And some soar high in the sky. Some are scary. Or they're talky. And they'll try to tell you why. But just the other day, my friend Harry was on the phone telling me this amazing story about these Henry! animals. Henry! Yeah? Just sing the song. Now if you think you're alone, nobody else around, we'll take a look out the window, or maybe down on the ground. There are animals everywhere trying to get by, like the pink flamingo in the Mediterranean sea. Crocodiles in Egypt. Llamas in Peru. Moose in Canada. Tiguans in Timbuktu. Barracuda in Bermuda. Tuna in Japan. And the bears in China. In Australia, horses in Belize, Angola in Andorra, crickets in the West Indies. So come, come on, you animal, you let's go, go around the world. world. Yeah! Henry, you got down.